I'm at like the Mass Effect uh, midnight release, and I'm fucked up in line. I'm like wasted. I just came from dinner, and I'm, I'm, I'm drinking. I'm getting wasted. I'm like Mass Effect's coming out, one of my favorite games. And I'm waiting in line, and it happened to be because I lived in Hollywood, the one where the Mass Effect creators were live streaming. And the guy like walks down and he's like, you guys excited for Mass Effect? And you hear my drunk ass like, fuck yeah, bitch. <laughs> and the guy, he doesn't like know me or anything. He walks over and he's like, hey, he's like, so uh, what are you most excited for in Mass Effect? And he like, gives you the mic. I'm like, you guys ready for Mass Effect 3? Yeah, bitch. All right, you're coming up. Let's say, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to getting blowjobs from that. All right, we're going to stop you on that. All right, guys, had a little bit too much to drink. I'm looking forward to... To getting blue blowjobs from that blue bear. And like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, that guy smells like alcohol. And I look back at it and I'm like, it's first of all, it's funny to me, but I'm also like, a part of me inside is I'm like, how could you go out like that? Or I can yeah. you guys know something, it might be a little TMI. I'm an aggressive masturbator. I do that. Yeah. Aggressive. aggressive. What? I feel like lubricant is a must. I don't want any dry masturbation. I'm very happy with what I've got and the aesthetic that I have achieved and and, Not me. and been endowed uh, through genetics, I suppose. Um, I'm, I'm very like like aggressive about it. Aggressive? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like you bruise yeah. yourself or like I'm fucking mad, I'm fucking get it. <laughs> like that. And like sometimes because there isn't enough skin, because like you know we we had some dude snip it off. Sometimes on the pull down, you get like a perfect horizontal slit, like a, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh goddamn! <laughs> Wait, I can't tell. Andy. You're goofing, right? Come here. If you want to get on the show, you probably should put out. Not necessarily That's how I us. got here. I don't want to guess who that was. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Harley, Filthy was legit, perhaps the best civilization player on Earth. Like that is like honestly. To like, that's the gayest best at something in the world. <laughs> yeah, I often thought that to myself. Second thought, to that is really the best get... at sucking another man's dick. I've been trying to that's get my second. own dick up my own ass. You know, like... go see Lord of the Rings. It was in theaters, and I was so excited to see it. I think I was like ninth grade, eighth grade, maybe mm -hmm. eighth grade. It came out ninety eight, like ninety nine, I think. Yeah. Okay, ninety eight, ninety nine. Um, so that's, that's eighth grade, um, and I, uh was with my aunt and like she's kind of like a hippie and like i was just like oh i want to get high to go see it and she like gave me like a little joint because she knew i was gonna be alone for the day she had shit to do mm -hmm. my cousin was doing shit so i got really high and i went to the theater and it was like a matinee and like the movie had been out for a while now and like no one had wanted to see it so we were finally going i was going to see it alone and i like i'm walking down the aisle and no one's in the theater and I go and I like sit down like fifth row and like in the middle, like it's like the perfect seat. Mm -hmm. And I like look to my right and I see this like, like big mentally challenged person, which he probably looked at me and thought the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but you give was, off that aura. Yeah. 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 And I was definitely emanating it now because I was stoned. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, like cross eyed. Yeah. And I like looking at him and I look and uh, he comes in and he's like, like on the level, like this level, like his hat is like, <laughs> yeah, like the hat's like barely on. Yeah. Someone mm. put it on him. <laughs> yeah. Someone put it on him. He didn't put it on even. And like, uh, he was just like, just like, like, like jogging pants that are you know are his favorite pants, <laughs> like fluorescent fanny pack that he'll scream if you touch it. Um, and he's like, <laughs> like coming down. He's coming down the aisle here. And like barreling I, down the aisle, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and me too. He looked like like me how I did when I was stoned. And I was like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. and like he's coming down, and I'm looking at him, and all I'm thinking is like it could have been anyone. I would have been like, don't come here, don't come here, don't come yeah. here, don't come here. And he uh, like comes to the aisle, and he like he hasn't seen me, yet, and he like turns in the aisle and takes a step, but I like focused all the power I had into like 
scaring him away. <laughs> like he What'd turned and like my bloodshot stoned eyes. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he like he was like, duh, 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 and he saw me. He was like, uh, and he like stepped back <laughs> and went back a row and just sat there. And I know this guy. I know his type because I am like that too to an extent. I was in the optimal seating, mm. and he wanted that. And if I didn't look at him like that, he would have sat next to me because that's the second best. <laughs> and he yeah. would have done that not thinking even though we were in a theater by ourselves, which one time I did sit in the optimal seating. And a mentally challenged person did sit right next to me. But mm -hmm. it was a full theater. Yeah. So, like, we had no choice. We're right next do? to each other. And the craziest thing that happened, also, once again, I'm super high. But this happened, like, three years ago. This was, like, Fast and the Furious 15 or whatever. So it was pre <laughs> pretty recent. And I'm, like, sitting in the theater and I'm looking at the screen and, like, something very funny happens that I thought was very funny. It was a very subtle, nuanced joke that just happened to, to – that I found very funny, but not really anyone else in the theater thought it was funny. But it happened and this – mentally challenged guy sitting next to me the stranger and it happened and i was like <laughs> and he was next to me and i guess he thought it was funny too and happy that i enjoyed it and he was like <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and i was, next to him, I was like oh, oh. i was like, Swear. like that wasn't a laugh i shared with you <laughs> but like it was like to him i was like <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> like, like pat like, oh, you on fuck. the back yeah that's, yeah that's honestly that is so sweet like it was, he's, trying, it was. he's trying to share a social laugh with someone who enjoys something that he does that's sweet and like you know what that. like i i was a, i was like professionally an integration aide for many years i worked with mentally mm -hmm. challenged kids and like you know i volunteered that for years like you know i was probably like they're my people that's me out there Every single one of them. And like, so I'd go, I'd like volunteer. Like, so like if I was prepared, I would be embracing. It scared the shit out of me. He was like in my space. Like he was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was actually like, <laughs> also I had to tell you, like I was high, like super yeah. high. Yeah. So like, I was like already like in a place, but they're, they're hiring and they're looking for a female restroom attendant. We thought you could apply. Okay. Hello. Yo, what's up? I'm looking for Jimmy. Just me. Jimmy, what's good, dog? Uh, I'm applying about this ad I saw on Craigslist, looking for a bathroom attendant. Um, handing out paper towels, mints, candy, all that jazz. I've done that shit before. Okay, I don't talk to anybody that curses. I, I don't employ anybody that curses. We're talking about the 6K club. So when you start talk, talk, talking about that shit, then I have to dismiss it. I'm sorry, part of me? As I'm talking to you, you're talking about shit. I got sophisticated clubs. I cannot have anybody in the bathroom talking about shit and stuff like oh, that. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was. I that was might be true. That might, that might be true. That's part of, but that's part of your style. See, I, I don't think you're talking. Well, no. With all due respect, Jimmy, I don't think you really know my style, and I, I wanted to show you my style. And if you give me that, oh, momento, oh, momento, habla español. No. Well, well, I'm, say? I'm, I'm, I'm black. You don't know my style either. But I'm black, okay? But minute, well, like, I might be black too. You don't see me. You don't know that I'm not black. It ain't got nothing to do with it. I know your style. You're rude. You're a rude person. Yo, I can't I have you in no club. I was trying to connect. I was trying to connect with you. And like but you're you coming did it, at me did aggressively it. saying you know me, but you don't know me. I'm not trying to know you. I don't want to know you. I'm telling you from what I have, have observed that I want to distance myself from you. Yeah, I got to tell you, Jimmy, you ain't observed shit yet, all right? You ain't, uh, hey. you ain't even observed shit yet. I was about to show you my friendly smile, my warm greetings. You ain't ever seen a motherfucker that could hand out paper towels, mints, and candy and other toiletries like this motherfucker right here. You losing it, man. You losing a good opportunity right now. So what? I said you're losing a good opportunity right now. One of the best restroom attendants you'll ever see. But you're partner, judging. Partner, 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 partner. I'm 65 years old. I got I your two yet. girls. Two, but, but you know, the best. Jimmy? Jimmy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy hung up. But that was awesome, <laughs> man. 
He was about to he was about to go down a path there that I really wanted. He's like, I'm 65 years old. <laughs> he, it wasn't me. He hung up. He hung up. But that was awesome. You're like, that was that was fantastic. Yeah, I didn't, I, dude. He turned that left right away, man. He he was all about not, you know. Oh my God, used a bad word. Forget it. We're we're done. Yeah, and right away. It's true. But uh, <laughs> but you brought it back. I was growing up. And uh, my sister's seven years older than me. My brother's nine years older than me. And I would sit down and we'd eat cereal in the morning. And it was one of my favorite things to eat cereal. And they would literally be like, shut the fuck up. And I thought, I literally just thought they were trolling me. Because mm-hmm. they'd be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, can you shut the fuck up? And I was like, what are <laughs> they talking about? And that went on like my whole life. <laughs> and then I smoked weed for like the first time. Like one of the first times when I was like 17. And I was like, oh, let's have some cereal at my house. And my buddy's like, yeah. (laughs) And no joke. I swear on my life. I had cereal. I put the thing in my mouth. And this is it exactly. Because I did it for 17 years. I remember it. I put it in my mouth. And I went, um, um, um. But it was so normal to me. I never heard it my whole life until I got high. And I was having some out-of-body experience. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I was like, why am I making this noise? I was like, this is the noise. This is the cursed <laughs> breakfast noise I made my whole life. And my brother and sister thought I was the ultimate troll when I, because for seven years, I'm like, I'm not making noise, you fucking weirdo. And they're That's like, crazy, the fuck bro. Up. I swear to God, bro. That's crazy. I swear to God. You're just like yeah, actively man. going, mmm. <laughs> I was literally, because I'm trying to breathe while eating and I don't yeah. want to breathe out of my nose. Because maybe as a kid, I like got milk in my nose once trying to do that. Right. So yeah. I was breathing and I was like chewing and it was like a this muscle memory you had. Literally. And I never heard it. It was like regular to my brain. But then so you it smoked blocked weed it out. And you noticed it. Bro, I'll tell you something really That's fucked crazy. up. About smoking weed. And I don't even like sharing this story. And I don't even want the fucking PKA fan base to know about this. <laughs> but this You're is right, actually true. And you know what? If I, you know what? I'm 36 years old. My, my my ego is just non-existent anymore so I could share this story and I know someone out there probably has it too and they'll never admit it because I don't even want to share it right now <laughs> also one of the first times I got high I took a shit wiped my ass and instinctually the shit covered toilet paper went up to my face and I stopped it like what am I doing <laughs> and I realized at that moment I always smelt my shit after the first wipe my entire life and never thought two ways around it. <laughs> like an animal seeing if I was okay, I would wipe my ass and be like, okay, and that's it. So I'm 17 and I'm high now. I wipe my ass and I'm like, what I'm weird. am I doing? I was, like, you, I was gonna you, smell you, that. You. And then I was like, wait, I always smell it. And I'm having all these memories of me like, <laughs> like and all of a sudden it's years. fucking weird. It was weird. It, like you don't smell sudden. your own shit. Like, bro, like we you know, look at it. That is smell the, room. the outside perspective you needed. Who smell the, the room. Let it walk. Who, who, Let it walk. Walk. who, who there... told you that that was like the procedure that you smell your shit? It's just everything. like animal instinct. Like, like a dog will shit and go and smell it. Like, I would be like, "What's up today?" And I'd be like, "That smells <laughs> like I'm not in a good place or something." I don't know what I thought. <laughs> like, you know, it was like a subconscious thing. It was literally like a fucking stupid little dog. That mm. shit walks over and goes, why am I smelling this? Like, I was about to was ask if you ever gleaned any useful information from sniffing your shit. Like, man, no, I need some more protein. Nothing useful. I got information. Just just Stop every single day, like you're like, oh, that <laughs> smells info, terrible. It wasn't <laughs> <fucking useful. laughs> yeah, every like, day, day, just damn, it still ten, stinks. Year 10, still stinks. <laughs> just keep um, himself humble. Like, when I, got, shit still when I got high, when I got high, like a lot of things that I did, I was like, oh, my God. And this is going to sound really weird. I think I was retarded before I started smoking. <laughs> there were things you- that I did that I never realized. And like, I'm sure if I went and got a test right now, they'd be like, yeah, you're like a little sprinkle of autism or something like that. And I'd be like, bro, I would be a lot more if I wasn't blazing my whole life. I used to smell my own shit. Dude, I, 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 <laughs> Listen. Fuck changing a tire. I like my wife, my wife called me. This was a uh, middle of the winter during this fucking ridiculous polar vortex winter, like bullshit that happened. I'm in middle of Wisconsin. Like like, I'm, like I, it's north up here, right? My wife yeah. calls me. I'm hungover as fuck. Literally, a friend crashed at my place because we were so drunk the night before. Calls me. She's like, I have a flat. Uh, I've called AAA, and I but I'm just down the road. I'm like, all right. So I get up, go go out there, and you know, <laughs> it's fucking frigid out there. 
And I'm like, I start like working on it. It's just, she's driving my car. So it's like a car I'm familiar with. I've got a spare in the back. So I'm like taking the tire off. I snap the fucking metal. I bend it. That's how cold it is. It was, wow. I, I don't, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was related oh, it wasn't to cold cold. Or not. I assume okay. it was, it was very cold. I probably was related to that, but I'm fucking taking off the lug nuts of the tire and I bend the fucking uh, iron doing that. And I'm like, all right, well, and then the AAA guy shows up and does it in like two seconds. And I feel like a total fucking douchebag for being tool. unable to do this myself. Yeah, he had a much better tool. Yeah. But I still felt like, That's you know, I woke fault. up. It felt like such a, oh, I felt like such a fucking piece Dude, of nothing shit makes you I, feel like a fucking. That's dude. funny that you felt like a piece of shit. Because if I got that call, I'd be like. <laughs> that sounds like a you I'm problem, like, we, not a me problem. <laughs> I'm like, we have a service. I pay money for this shit. But my calling wife, me? the woman I love is like, wow, wife, stranded. what a show off this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You got a wife. I get it. You're bending the iron with your bare hands. <laughs> Very strong. And uh, as a woman that loves him and he has his own car, not to be mistaken with the other car they have. Guys, you got to read between the lines here. He's like, I got multiple cars. I got a wife and I fucking bend iron then I went with my home, bare I hands. Fuck, Carly's chicken. winning me over. Oh, another. I'm Narrowly so escape. I'm so sorry to hit you guys with like a retard hat trick of a story here. Just but keep going. Oh, I've got a retard story so, after yours. So. Three hours. My, oh, buddy yeah. Amir, yeah. my buddy Amir, God bless him. Uh, chef of Epic Meal Time. He's a genius guy. You know, like, uh, like he's just very like smart sometimes, but he's also like, if if you ever watch the videos and you know you like you'd met him, Kyle, mm -hmm. he's like fucking just a crazy retarded person. Like he's just fucking crazy. Like he's so insane people would meet him and be like what's wrong with this guy and i'm like he's retarded me too <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, notice anything. I thought he was fine. yeah he's just like he's there's a look in his eyes and there's a thing about him was he there for the star wars thing right yes yeah yeah maybe he was just you saw him where he had like a set thing of tasks to perform and he loves tasks and a maintained schedule that's exactly it had we shifted something he would have been like ah <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not like that, but like he is like he is just that type. And I remember one time he got us tickets like he's like type like he, he got us tickets to a movie in advance, got us our seats. He got us. He's waiting there like three hours like it's the airport. He's chilling there. And then we come all of his buddies. And there's a guy there that he always tries to race to beat because that guy who's fully retarded mm -hmm. um, has uh, wants to get the optimal seating. But Amir oh. wants the optimal seating. And Wait, like they know the, each other? Well, they're they're at every big premiere. Like, like the same movie, social worker. Like Amir mm. will be like, my fucking nemesis got optimal seating at Top Gun. He was there before <laughs> me. I can't believe it. If there was one movie I wanted optimal seating, it was Top Gun. And then it would be like Jurassic World, I fucking had his ass, and he came with a friend too. Fuck them both. But like they do, <laughs> they have an ongoing beef. It's a rivalry. Like, yeah. yeah in my head, I think they're low-key best friends. He just doesn't know it. Um, mm. but so this this guy who's retarded who knows amir is retarded too because he sees mm -hmm. him doing the retard movie thing where he's got to get the seat and he's got to be there for that <laughs> optimal seating like uh, if he's, yeah so this retard's been watching amir and he sees him and he knows this is like my retarded brother you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> then he sees like me and all my buddies come in and now that other retard's confused because he's like what because we're seeing amir we're dapping him up and this guy's like huh how did you a fellow retarded brother managed to <laughs> round up a squad of fucking normies like that, yeah. you know? <laughs> so I'm standing with Amir, and I was like, oh, I was like, Amir, I'm like, I retarded over there. I was really checking you out. He's like, <laughs> He's like which? And I'm like, don't. You know who? <laughs> well, you know, the one you Reet. have a rivalry with. Yeah, yeah Reet recognize Reet, the one that's looking at you right now that knows you're retarded, and you know. And Amir's like, huh? I didn't even see. And now I'm watching Amir. From like like a distance here, I get my popcorn. I stand back and I'm watching Amir, and I see now that I'm away and Amir's alone. This this guy's like, oh, I'm gonna roll up on a, this dude and I'm gonna ask him like, what are the secrets, you know? And so this like retarded guy starts to approach Amir. He's also a retarded guy, and now Amir like he's been doing the long con. He mm -hmm. thinks he has us convinced that we don't think he's retarded when we know he is. And mm -hmm. so like Amir doesn't want to fuck that up, I guess, or whatever it is. But this retarded guy like walks up to Amir like, yeah, and Amir he didn't actually do this what i'm about to demonstrate it was something different but this encapsulates it perfectly amir as he came close amir was kind of like 
<laughs> and that guy was like, oh, shit, and, like, backed away. Like, it was like, don't fuck this up for me. And I saw the guy wanted to know, like, yo, how do you hold a conversation with these guys? Like, you know, I don't, don't they know you're, like, you keep it a secret? Are you upfront about it or what, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's in the closet. He's in the play chest. He'd yeah, well, this, and that's that's the same guy that laughed with me, by the way. Oh, that's nice. the same guy that sat next to me because Wait, I had no, optimal kidding. seating. No, no, I had optimal seating with Amir, so he ended up next to me because that's the second most optimal seat. It just he happens to All be right, part so, of both of so these when stories. You say Is there he's... one theater in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, well, <laughs> well, how are you guys? I will tell you something. So time for every movie. If you're this month, type of happening? person, if you're this type of person, you want the best. You want and the best in, seat in the Montreal. Best there happens yeah. to be an IMAX theater that is one of the newest IMAX theaters mm-hmm. in all of Canada. So, like, yeah, I'm pretty normal, bro. I'll go see the fucking movie here. That's it. Uh, Amir will drive like an extra 35 minutes <laughs> to get the oh. IMAX experience because like the screen is 20 percent bigger. See, while while he while he's doing the awkward sounds, let me tell you what Wings would have did to a teacher like that. There's a thing oh, called gosh. liquid glass. It's called sodium papillate. You, what oh you basically God. do is you, you drain <laughs> the oil out of the car and you put this into the oil. What it does is it goes in there and once he turns his engine on, his piston's going to be knocking and that's gonna, it's going to start heating up. And once he gets to about the edge of the driveway, yeah, he's he, sitting there looking stupid as shit wondering why his engine won't work because he's got glass all in the block. <laughs> you ride by and you're like, hey, here's your homework, bitch. And hit him in the so, face with it. You know, you know what I would have done to that kid. You know what I would have done to that kid. What would you have done? Would have cooked him. I would put a blade in his stomach. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. So, <laughs> that, don't, that don't work down here either. Because every kid in high school has a blade. I love how it gets all dark and creepy at that point. Like, you <laughs> say you expect to say we need him. He's like, I'd put a blade. No, no, no. I'm thinking back to my biology teacher. His name was Lester, Mister Lester, and that was the what one class. First name, Mo? No, first name wasn't Mo, but he he was a very fem- feminine guy. And the reason I remember him so vividly is because it's the one class in high school I failed. And the reason I failed it, no, I didn't. I wasn't fucking up. The reason I failed it is because I always write with a pen. Like, that's what I did. I didn't like pencils. I didn't like the way the f- pencils felt. So I write with a pen. Well, he comes to his class. Well, you didn't really get to pick your teachers. You get put in their class. And he's like, all work must be done in pencil. I'm like, I'm, I only use pens. It's like, you give me in pen, I'm going to give it a zero. Well, needless to say, I lasted about three weeks in his class. I did everything in pen, and when he called on me, I called him Lester the Molester. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I, I didn't even know him when I called him the Molester already. So I got you there. Why but would somebody honest, act like that? Like, why would was, you force a pen? Like a you're pencil? right, man. You're right. I was never about that as a teacher. It was never those little dumb things that I hated when my teachers used to do that. I was never about that. You know, like, you think I give a shit if you're chewing gum in my class? I don't give a shit. Chew your gum. You know, I don't give a shit if I tell you to do three pages of work and you had earphones in your ears. I don't give a shit. If that's what you got to do to make you work, that's cool, man. You know, and if you want to work, if you have a fucking this weird ass, like, really weird fucking phobia of pencils or pens, that's your thing. And I would never take that from you. You know, you could do that. Your, your buddy Lester here is just being a dickhead. <laughs> oh, he got it back full full on. I oh end up slashing God. his tires. Wings is like oh a Wings gosh. is that guy you don't. Oh, want you, to you, I'm dead serious. Like, I slashed that cocksucker's tires. That's how I got to get away. Obviously, he deserved that. He didn't let you write in pen. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. motherfucker fucked my grade point average up. You think I'm gonna let him go away with it? Fuck his ass. No, see, why didn't you just use Wings a pencil? Because I can't stand him. It, 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 it was a stupid rule, and stupid rules you got to go against. You got to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. That's oh right. My oh my god, we're quoting country music on the yeah, use of a pencil. Now. <laughs> I mean, if you if you let everything go by something simple like that when it's stupid as shit, I don't make it. I didn't make that many errors, and if I did, I would X the whole thing out and start anew. If you don't want to see my fucking biology in fucking pen, go to fuck a hell. The work is right. You should grade that work. You should not give that work a zero because it's in ink instead of pencil. All right, all right, all right. I think we all agree that Lester, your biology teacher, was wrong. Hey, if I see your ass now, Lester, I will headbutt the Lester, shit out of you. You, Lester, <laughs> we coming at you, Lester. <laughs> you fucking got you, Lester. We're going to fuck you up. And that's, Lester, that's real talk shit. All oh, these oh you think I'm lying? Conway High School, Lester. that bitch still works there, too. 
oh, well, that bitch fucked up. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to high school. Ask we're him about some Jordy him. Jordan. That's it. So we're let's do it. That's the next video. That's the collabo. We go to Lester and we just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> That's the collab. <laughs> we're going to shoot Lester with something <laughs> and watch his head next blow up like a pumpkin. Pens. <laughs> we, we, pen gun. Yeah, we right. all stab him with pins. Yeah, that'll be the video. No, no, no. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tattoo with pens inside his skin, like with the ink. We're gonna tattoo our YouTube channels. See, here's here's what you gotta do. You gotta steal his car and then get it painted with a pen on the side. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! So, so you were? How about we just steal his car and sell it? Take the money and split some hookers. You know what I'm saying, boys? <laughs> How so we Harley, keep back to hookers. <laughs> I, know. I hate that guy with every ounce of my heart. All right, can we get <laughs> off your fucking? Yeah, can we move? <laughs> I used to play uh, Guitar Hero and Rock Band, and I was the guitar yeah. guy. And I'm the best gamer in this house. So whenever there was like a hard section, or the, well, the song wasn't easy. You pass that to Dad, you get it done. <laughs> well, <laughs> PKA Dan was living with us for a while. And he was better at these games than me. And he would just kick my ass Cut. at the guitar. Dude, I'm glad you said that. Because that's exactly what he's like. You're going to let me come in here and beat you at your games in your own house? And it's like, I don't, I don't have much to say about it, really. <laughs> I, just felt I so love, me, but you know what? I love before that. I loved your claim where you're like, you meant it so much. Like, I'm the best gamer in this house. I really am. Yeah. Like, if there's one reason I want to be a dad, it's just to have kids. <laughs> And be like, I'm fucking taller than all of you. I'm <laughs> smarter. I'm faster. I'm a better gamer. Uh-huh. Guess what, bitch? You don't hear any. That woman in the house, I fuck her. She <laughs> would never fuck you. I can go fuck her right now. How do you think you even <laughs> got here? Dead. You're nothing but a fuck. Are you serious? Are you sassing me? Are you me? I'll fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I've talked to you so many times about how much this upsets me. Like, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> You don't have any money. I'm taller than you. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, and I'm like, shut your mouth. Just keep banging the drums. We're failing on medium rock band. If Colin's <laughs> not really taller than you. I can picture Woody walking through his house when Dan was there and, and Hope's playing uh, some Dragon Force song, and she's just like, oh. And you see her struggling, and she goes, <laughs> hey, 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 I need help. And you start walking there, and she goes, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, I do like the visual. I do like his visual of him coming up behind you. He's like, you got to place your hands here. Like that. <laughs> oh, no. You got to strum it like this. I actually, I find if you rock your hips a little bit, you get a little. <laughs> <laughs> Stop now. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you rock your hips. <laughs> But, like, he grew on me by the first episode, and I was on board. He's got a real – like, he doesn't speak very much, but when he does, it's usually witty, um, to almost to an autistic point. Like, like he's, that, he's, like that, he's that detail-oriented where he's that Sherlock Holmes-type character, but at the same time, he's the guy who will gouge eyes out and break people in half. Did you just say Woody to an almost autistic point? No, I did what not What did you that. just say? I think that you heard something, and, and I think it's very telling – that, that that's yeah. what you would hear. What did there. you just say that? I, 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 I think we just all got a little little viewpoint into your psyche. Yeah. What did you just say that? We you. invite you on here. What did we, you just say that? Bring it back. We get exactly down our knees back. and we shine your wheels. <laughs> we shine your wheels after your little box. Zach, bring mat. it that back. Was clearly fixed. That's <laughs> fixed right. And you have the audacity to come here and attack Woody. This is all true. Speechless. He's speechless. <laughs> speechless and muted. <laughs> I want to have the show on that. That was great. Okay, well, wait, why'd, you ask, why'd you ask about the gay thing? Am I coming off gay this episode? No, I um, throughout the week select topics in case I think the show stalls and bring them up. <laughs> oh, so like, oh, shit. Stall, the show's stalling. Harley was uh, a friend of mine. He has like, uh, like he has like cameras in his house and stuff. Like he's a uh, Lives in L.A. and like he was like in bed. It was like 3 a.m. Him and his wife and his dog was barking. And his wife was like, oh, like, what's what's you know, what's the dog barking about? He's like, I don't know. The dog's asleep. But I go to bed, you know, the dog kept barking. So he turned on his TV, which shows like down the stairs and like the front door and everything or whatever. And some dude is walking up the stairs in his house. Looks his wife. She's like, you know this guy. She's like, I fucking know this guy. <laughs> a fucking stranger in the house. So they call the cops. Is this Canada? They're up. No, 
This is California. They call the cops. They're on the third floor. He came up from the first floor where he passed by a room where like his his brother sleeps, and he like goes past that. He goes upstairs in the kitchen, like in the living room, and uh, they're watching him on the camera as they call the cops. And they're like, "There's a guy here." It takes the cops like 15 minutes to get there. And they're watching him, and he goes into the freezer and uh, wait, not yet. He's like going around, and then the cops like ring the doorbell. He goes and he grabs the uh, uh, the freezer. He opens up and he grabs ice cream and a spoon, and then goes downstairs and opens the door. And the cops are like, uh, "Did you call? You live here?" He's like, uh, "Yeah, I live here. <laughs> my, my my buddy's on the third floor and he's got the intercom." He's like, Bruh. "He's like, he doesn't. We're upstairs. <laughs> we don't know that guy. Arrest him. Arrest him. He's not supposed to be in our home." So they arrest that guy. You know, it's all it's all. There's a good whatever. move, though. I'm very impressed. Yes, but here's the thing. Here's what the thing. You guys want? When they went to court, he went to court and he would have been uh sentenced to a year for trespassing, but instead he got five because he took the ice cream and the spoon. Oh, and that no. was now now that was like a robbery or uh what was term larceny or something. Yeah, burglary? exactly. Burglary. Yeah. So because he he took the ice cream for his little shtick. <laughs> that got him five years. I changed my mind. It wasn't a good move. Wow, well, they, they really threw the book at him for example. that. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? I throw fucking the book. I'm like, yo, fucking guy came to my house and then lied to the cops. Like, I'd like to know like, about his priors. Does he have a violent history? Is was he drunk? Like, like what was he doing there? Because like, completely, he was fucked up. Apparently, he's fucked up, and he got five years. Like, I, you know, as you're telling the story, there is a real chance if that happened in North Carolina, he gets shot. Like I, I think all the homeowners here. Yeah, have I find that like I find that crazy that like, like in places like L.A. and I, I like I'm not like a gun guy, but I'm just like kind of like, what do you mean if someone walked into my house and I saw them going through my stuff and they even grabbed a knife from my kitchen drawer? I can't like walk downstairs with my gun and be like, you fucked up, pal. You can't hear. Like, I, I I know, I know, <laughs> but I always found that weird in L.A. I'd be like, you mean in this place? Where people have these humongous houses, which are like their whole house is like made of glass, <laughs> and like four people could just like kick in the glass, and it'll take <laughs> cops thirty minutes to drive up this hill. I can't pull out like my gun and be like, "You, you don't fucked up," you know? Like I found that I just find that weird, you know? Like yeah, that's a that was that story is really scary to me at first when you're like like seeing the guy coming up your stairs. Oh, totally, yeah. Oh. Taylor, they basically they, they they heard somebody in their house. They look on the security camera, and there's a stranger coming up the stairs from the first to the second floor, and they're on the third floor. And they call the cops. The cops show up. They it took watch 15 minutes, but they were watching him like wander around, opening their fridge and like looking for drawers. So when the cops show up and ring the doorbell, Damn. the intruder answers the door, but he's got himself a prop. He had <laughs> he's ice got cream ice cream. cream. He's like, "Hey, it's my house." <laughs> And they were upstairs on the intercom. They're like, no, that, that guy's lying. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so fucking funny, a way to get caught. No, 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 no. We're, we're terrified up here. Please. Come here. That's also my ice cream. Put the chucky mucky down. <laughs> that like, like, yeah, edibles could fuck me up. But I got this new thing I like doing. Woody, you should totally try it. Uh, is I call it getting scared. Bad advice and, incoming. And I, yeah, yeah. I know, I know exactly what you're going to say. 100%. Okay? And if you're listening to this and you don't feel like getting scared because it sounds like bad advice, you're a bitch, okay? Because I do it. <laughs> and, I, and honestly, I could be a bitch sometimes over things. But you know what? you got to just find the right time to get scared. Uh, and what you do is – and the whole thing is literally about being a bitch, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Is – I got this like Tootsie Roll, for example, when I was in LA and it's like broken into six pieces and they're like, one piece will fuck you up. And everyone like, this is the craziest edible. So I ate the whole Tootsie Roll. <laughs> so it was like six times. Literally, it was like 300 milligrams. Um, and people take like five milligrams and they're like, I'm high. Or yeah. like, so like, oh, I'm doing 30 milligrams. I'm going to get fucked up or like 50 milligrams, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm doing 300. I, yeah, I would just take okay. the whole thing and I would be so fucked up. And I'm like, so I'm like in LA and I'm like walking to this movie with this this buddy of mine, this guy Eric, and he's got like long hair. I met him online actually, uh, which sounds crazy, but I met you fuckers online That's too. That's how we met. It yeah. Like, yeah, so <laughs> it's his name online was Meth Syndicate. 
<laughs> and so I met him and he makes t-shirts and stuff and we were hanging out. We hung out a bunch of times, but we went and I'm like, yo, we got to get scared. You know, I got to eat all this. So I ate this whole tootsie roll. <laughs> we're walking in LA and the sun's getting hotter and hotter. And then I get this stress. Like I got to get to the movie theater because at this, like it's in Hollywood. So the movie theater, like if you're, if the movie's at 3 PM and you come in at 3 5, they don't let you in. And the idea of taking all these edibles now and being so high and not being allowed to get in. I'm yeah. like scared. So I'm like already like, we got to rush. We got to get there. We're rushing to the movie. The sun's getting hotter. I'm feeling it all. I'm starting to panic a little bit, you know? <laughs> and I turn the corner and a friend of mine that I haven't seen since like, like literally the 11th grade, like when we graduated <laughs> mm -hmm. is there. And he's like, yo, Harley. And I look and he's like at the table with this, like, like 65 year old woman. Oh, who instantly okay. at a stoned glance is like hot enough that and or, or like she looked rich enough but not hot. it was a combination where i'm like is she paying my friend to be on this date <laughs> like yeah maybe he's paid to be here and he's like you didn't what assume up? it was her mom his mom and I, no i know him very well from oh, high okay. school and i'm like and he we live in montreal also so i'm seeing mm -hmm. him in la and like okay. you know and I see him and he's there and I'm like tripping and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I can't talk to you now. I got to get to the movie and they're not going to let me in. I mean, he's like, yeah, man, no. <laughs> go, 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 whatever the hell you're saying. And I like stumble off. We get into the theater. We sit down right away and I'm just like, yo, like you get that vibe where you're like, no, I can relax a little bit, you know, and like yeah. we're waiting for the movie to start and I'm kind of like, I'm like, uh, like, I'm like <laughs> I, I, it's like, I'm not getting, I didn't get a drink. <laughs> but I'm too scared to go outside to people and we didn't get a drink. And I said to my buddy, I was like, can you get me a water? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you just the water. I'm like, yeah, because he was going anyways. So he went, he got a water. He comes back. He gives it to me. It is like in this really fucking weird bottle. You know, I'm like, okay. I asked for a water. I open it up and I take a sip. I have no idea what the fuck it was, but it was not water. <laughs> it tasted weird and i'm like looking it up I'm, and the bottle looks like a vinegar bottle or something and it's like not hitting like water and i'm like <laughs> trying to drink it and i'm like it's not vibing with me there's i'm like worried about it, and i'm trying to mm -hmm. look at the label when it's light in the movie but we're at a particularly dark movie i'm never getting the chance <laughs> and i look over at the meth syndicate and i'm looking at him and he's got like his long hair and he looks at me like and I'm like, I don't fucking know this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought me a bottle of vinegar. Literally, Jesus. literally. That's what, that like, explains I'm the hair. High, and this guy, like, what is it? A prank or like, yo, man, is you just like drink a, a pint of vinegar? vinegar? That's so badass. Literally, like, I'm tripping out. Maybe what I have no it? idea. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, this guy's fucked up, dude. I can't believe he would fucking do this to me. And like, I, I like, what was tripping. it? What were you drinking? The movie ended. It was the movie theater's brand of water. It was just okay. their brand, <laughs> special brand. Totally, it was water. I was a stone fucking moron. <laughs> 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 I was like, bro, I thought you poisoned me. He's like, we talked about. I'm like, I was so scared in the movie that you gave me Dude. something fucking weird. He was why like, no, why, do you, why would I do that? I was like, you, you wouldn't. Why are you recommending this experience to people? It, he it's called you getting scared. I swear, start to I, exactly. I love it. You come out of that shit. Like it's the same thing like going skydiving. Way the Band of Brothers. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, literally, I went in there and I'm like, I'm dying, man. I'm like, this is fucked. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to talk to people. I got scared once to a movie theater. And I told my buddies, I was like, yo, you got to babysit me because I'm getting scared before this movie. And we got there and like, there was like 10, 13 year olds and they were like, sauce boss. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like and my buddies were like, yeah, it's the sauce boss. And they're like pushing me into these kids. I'm like, ah. Ah. And I'm like tripping, hearts beating so fast. <laughs> Going to Walmart or something, I get scared before, and I like give them yeah. like my my card, and she's like, "This isn't the right card." So she, she's saying it to me in French. I'm tripping. I don't know. I love it. Like complete power. Uh, this is why, like, I assume like some like super CEO dudes maybe want to get like like lose their power sexually and get like fucked or pegged or something like that. This is my version of getting pegged. Is it I get pegged by edibles? It's just like fucked up. I'm scared, and I'm telling you, Woody, you gotta try it out. 
I, I, I got the ultimate <laughs> joints. This is the room we believe they kept the man prisoner. This is the original. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the That's why I took, so I took out of it. There's a man who works 80 hours a week right there. He's so pale. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he looks so blown out. <laughs> that that floor, is so long. I thought it was. I, it was this one. And I looks so, <laughs> I see so much see happier you. now than that guy. Like, <laughs> I know that guy. what this looks like from this from this room. Right now, uh, from this then to you now, you literally look like Steve Carell in the office from season one. And then like the last <laughs> season. I'm looking at like that's me earning the money. This is me spending the money. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Carell season say. one. Two. I, I was great. like, if, if this you could talk to that you, he goes, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get in that fucking fat. joint bed. Jackie just feeds me exclusively with flat foods under the under the door. <laughs> like yeah. here's some pop tarts, some pizza. So tired of, <laughs> I'm tired of living on non bread. That was like Super Nintendo to Nintendo sixty four. This yeah, is that leap where it was like, yeah. So I've seen. A handful Don't pause of me, games. by the way. You just shush me. <laughs> I respond much better to a shush. <laughs> well played, Harley. <laughs> um, oh no! <laughs> People are gonna think I did that. I don't even have that power. <laughs> but but um, uh, <laughs> I call for Woody. <laughs> the fuck, man! <laughs> right. That was a good moment. I think Zach did that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously Jews have been hated for a long time across history. Why do you think that uh, is? Uh because they're fucking greedy. Obviously, it's because <laughs> they hang out with uh, like a guy that was doing uh, bodybuilding competitions and stuff, and I'd hang out with him on Sundays, <clears throat> and we'd eat like pigs on uh, watching football. This is like way. This is like twelve years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and he'd come over and he was like one of the biggest guys at the gym and he was going to compete and we would order every single Sunday. It was like everyone chose a place that they liked. So like I always chose Domino's and I would get like the breadsticks, cheese sticks, pizza. Um, uh, my cousin would get this place Dagwoods, which made like 12 inch subs and they would have like a party platter with a whole bunch of six inch subs. Um, and we would do like, you know, three places like that and wings. So we'd have like sandwiches, wings, pizza and, nice. um, would eat like crazy but the difference was the uh, the guy who was competing he came with like his own food first so before we ordered we were figuring out what we were doing this was his sunday so it was like his carbo shock day or whatever the fuck his plan <laughs> yeah. was mm -hmm. um and he ate like a double big mac supersized fries the mcchicken on the side he had a big ass milkshake then our food would come now he's eating with us and I'm like destroyed. I'm like finished. And I thought I was a bigger. I'm like destroyed. And then he would go upstairs when he was done. Every all the foods cleaned out. He'd go upstairs and come down. And he had a pie. And I always thought the pie <laughs> was the funniest. And he'd eat this whole pie after all that. And then he would sit down, close his eyes while we're watching football. Like, and it's like the first games aren't even done. And he would sleep through the, all the second games. <laughs> and we'd like wait. And he just grew. I'm telling you, bro, we'd look at him and be like, yo, he's growing. He's growing. And he's just there like this, and I swear to God, in his sleep, he was growing. And it fucking, it, I love that. I love the The best clip is, the best clip is Ice Poseidon Sip. You know the Sip? I don't know the Sip. Please? I, I don't. Go on YouTube and look up the Sip. It's like it's literally we're looking at you don't even need to queue it up just click it right away because it's like two it's two seconds long <laughs> what it, i'm not the, finding it under this sip i guess I have to he put up it. no ice beside and sip and click on ice taking a sip oh here it is it's eight <laughs> seconds long <laughs> it is the well, best thing cheese fries ever <laughs> Yeah. Oh, strawberry air. Mm. But no, it's so funny because it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the scenario is so good because it's like people people are watching and people are watching and it's it's there's always this element of like you think you think it's like like I don't know how to explain it that well. So it's going to be hard for me because it's just in my brain. But it's like people are watching you. You know people are watching you. You're so casual at knowing that the people are watching you but acting like they're not there. But you are always aware that they're there. 
God forbid you suck the straw and suck real straw or strong on that straw. You're going to hear the 20,000 CX army like for the next month being like, keep sucking that straw, big <laughs> boy, or whatever the fuck they'll do. So God forbid he sucks longer than what's necessary, but he finds out that the suck that he is committed to is not a big enough suck or a long enough <laughs> suck. So he didn't suck it enough, but he now can't like, you know, keep sucking. He's got to abandon the suck. But he can't pull away from, you know, being such a pussy that he can't suck the strawberry up in there. I so like he how lies. He just, his mouth makes the noise. Yeah, he like lies and he, he does this. He <laughs> tastes the sip that was not complete. <laughs> but we see through the straw. God has it that we witnessed the straw that it never got there. So this is the most perfect content possible. This is the most pure, uncut best content on the internet that fucking eight second sip and i would never be able to explain to people why that is so incredible that sip unless you were really there for all of it like it's just so excellent he never he never sipped it he didn't want to suck it that much but he also needed to suck it more and he and then he lied about it when he tastes it he this, tastes yeah, the this taste is a the channel there. with 32 subscribers and a video with almost 300,000 views yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm 10,000 of those views. That eight second sip, I've seen it four hours worth in my life. <laughs> I think I've, when I first saw that sip, I think I was high and I was trying to look up like how to auto replay a YouTube video over and over again so I don't need to click again and again because I needed to keep seeing the sip. The sip is just so incredible this moment. This moment is my favorite moment on in YouTube history. We need a <laughs> to make one of those 10-hour versions of Ice taking a sip just for yeah. Harley. <laughs> so he can watch it. That is hilarious because you can. he puts it down so tentatively and then makes the face of, oh, I just tasted something he that tasted, definitely wasn't just cold strawberry he air. He was going to lie to us about that sip. That <laughs> sip was a lie. He lied to everyone. But we saw. Uh, we saw through the lie. It, it was but I'll have you know, like a couple years back, like an ex-girlfriend of mine was at the mall. And she was walking. And she was like, this sweaty dude rolled up to me in Heelys. And he was like, hey. And she looked. And she was like, Toby Turner? She's like, you know me. I went to your party. She's like, I date Harley. And he was like, oh, shit. And he healed away. <laughs> <laughs> and this is 100% true. At the Beverly Simo. Imagine how good your genetics would be if your mom's an Instagram hottie and your dad's a basketball player. You're six foot nine with a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm 300 pounds. You know I'm the fattest I've ever been? Wow. Really? Yeah, look at this. So what was the it, doesn't sit, it doesn't sit right because I'm just, oh, look at this. This is like sweat from my teeth. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I, right. I emphasize so much it with that. It doesn't sit right because like I'm tall, but like uh -huh. there's like fat in here. Like daddy's got a gut. <laughs> I did always think that, um, not always, but once I saw Dream Warriors and knew it was a thing, I was always like, bro, Freddy, like you're not Jason. Jason, you catch me sleeping? I'm fucking bent backwards in half. Or yeah. you catch me getting a hand job in the woods, I'm getting my head cut off. 100% mm -hmm. Jason's got me. But Freddy, bro, you want to come in here? Like, we're sucking dick together, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Our dads. <laughs> you got issues, bro. You don't want to come in here. You're not coming out the same Freddy. Like, this is the You're battleground. The My thing is scarred now. Like, bro, we're going to fucking, like, I'm going to make you come. <laughs> Freddy's going to wake up from a wet dream if he ever fucks with me. Like, I'm like, I'll be like, bro, I'm going to fuck. He's like, you can't hurt me. I'm like, I'm not going to hurt you. I'll make you come. Yeah. You're going to question come. your sexuality when you wake up. You're going to be like, whoa. I'm going to yeah, fuck you till you love me. And shitty. Like and I'm gonna little. wake, and because if you get busted in your mouth in your dreams, it happens in real life. So I'm gonna wake up and be like, ah, if you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're real. <laughs> and if you're a fatty, like your ankle is hurting type fatty, like that type of level fatty, like you got tits and you're like, oh, I'm never gonna get rid of these tits. You could go with a low weight kettlebell. You don't even need to do something heavy. Just moving your body is gonna be a. I want to go for you know? a walk. If uh, yeah, you, know, you fat standing. bitch. Get, what are you doing on YouTube, you fat bitch? How much did you eat today? A lot, I bet. And I owe you to sit back, listen to a three-hour podcast, you fat ass. And you're not going to do shit after, right? No, you're not. You're going to cook dinner or something or order dinner, you fat fuck. You're a fat piece of shit. No one else is here. It's just us. I bet you're listening to this alone. I am talking directly to you, 
you fat <laughs> motherfucker. Okay, don't wait till it gets to me, you fat bitch. You have sweaty tits. I know you do. The balls stink. You're a fat fucking slob. Get the fuck up and do something. Stop making... Shut up. Shut the fuck up. And don't direct anger at me, because I know fuckers that listen to this podcast would come back and be like, actually, I don't fucking... Like, shut the fuck up. You're a fat fucking slob. And if you're not, you're skinny good. Just shut up. It's not even for you. This is for the fatty. <laughs> Get the fuck up and do something. Make it happen. Like I'm telling you, I slept for way too long, bro. I slept for a long time. You sound motivated. Don't, don't I am. And like, don't wait until like you got to fucking like, just don't wait for anything. Just get up and do it. Start now. Start little. Do it. Yeah. Do something. If you're, you like, know? I, if you're like 10 pounds overweight right now, jump on it. Don't do what it seems like me and Harley always do is we wait for things to get absolutely oh. done. <laughs> I, I so like on the topic of breaking and entering type stuff, whatever. I don't know. It was like this was a couple of years ago. I was in LA and like I had this girl over. There are some freaky girls in Los Angeles. Mm. And this girl was over. She's like, oh, let's get pizza, you know. And she was like, so wasted. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know, you know what? I've been jerking off too lately. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, um, I'm like, why don't you answer the door completely naked? I'm so familiar the with this comes, genre. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> naked. So like here's like this is the house like the like you walk into the house and when you look up to the right the stairs go up to the second floor but there's a main floor there so she gets the door she opens it she's naked she's like a good looking girl and this guy is like really excited she's like haha thanks for the pizza and he's like I hear him he's like and I'm at the top of the stairs just like spying he's like wow so nice and she's like yeah anyways thanks and she goes to close the door he's like stop he's like wait he's like I get your number and she's like no 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 he's like please get and then he steps inside she's like no 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 and he steps inside and then he looks to the right and looks up and he sees me and this is when I realized that like oh yeah I'm like a gigantic human <laughs> like I'm like 6'6 six, six, 260 pounds and I'm just standing there I'm not I'm not her boyfriend or anything I, I thought this was Fun and all. And then, like, he just looks at me and the look in his eyes of fear. Of three plays. Like, like three that ways. he was about, like, that he just got caught doing something weird or he was about to take <laughs> it somewhere weird or whatever. And now there's just this giant person. He's like, oh, he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he, like, bolted out of the house. And I was there and I was like, you could have had a slice if you really wanted it. <laughs> oh, on this and what a retard. What kind of pizza man asks for their number? You already have that. It was Uber. It doesn't Uber have access eats. to us. Uber oh, eats. Uber Eats. Well, that, yeah. I, that, that's, that's a risky business maneuver to show up naked to the door as a woman if you're home alone. Because that pizza guy, I don't think he's that worried about losing his job at Papa John's. He might Taylor, are you assuming saw, that just because him. she shows up with her fucking labia swinging in the breeze that she's some kind of slut? I'm saying <laughs> that, those, that those duplicities. There is, no, but there is one video in particular where like, a girl is like, on cam because do it and they'll get like, like tipped to do it. And she got tipped to do it. And then the pizza man would not leave. And he's like slowly walking around like her couch with her. And she's like, okay, bye. And he's like, please, please. And the chat's like, boom, 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 like tips, 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 tips. But like this girl's like stuck with this fucking random dude in her house now. Who's like, please let me taste or some shit, you know? Please let me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are we talking about the that. pizza? I think, I think that's my line. There's <laughs> <laughs> the pizza. If I showed up, uh, if I showed up to my own door, if like, Mormons knocked on my door and I showed up <laughs> naked to greet them, but I showed a genuine interest in the Lord. Do you think they would they would come in and <laughs> talk to me about it as I was naked? If I was like, no, I'm a nudist. I'm sorry if it's odd for you. It's just something that I do. I'm interested in they should. Like Joseph Smith, though. They should. You know, if because that would be a real moral quandary. Really, exactly. If they're really about their job, they should. Yeah. All hmm. right. I'll pray with you right now if you if you guys kiss. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys kiss and let me watch I'll, I'll convert to whatever your goofy cult is damn boys 10 years 10 years straight of podcasting I honestly I thought it was impressive that I was wrapping my dick in bacon and, and, and sticking corn dogs up my ass for 10 years on YouTube but having a conversation with Woody for 10 years <laughs> no, really he was like yeah there's web there's ad billboards uh for like like sugar baby sites yeah and you guys were like yeah damn and i was listening and i was like oh i need to be there for that segment which is why i brought it up like yeah. 
I have experience. I've had a profile on that website. How'd it like go? I went, I went there. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so like my ex-girlfriend, when we were like, like breaking up, we were just very friendly. She was like, oh yeah, like check out this site. You should like look at it, you know? And like, I went on the site and uh, like, she like made a profile for me, you know? And like, we like looked at it and like, she had a profile and then like never used it. And then like five days later, I like went back on and like, we saw each other on online on the site. And then like, it was like fresh. So we like got mad at each other. I was like, oh, you're on the site, eh? What, you looking for something? She's like, yeah, I was just trying to see if you were on it. But what, you think <laughs> someone's gonna be on the Like, yeah, what the fuck? And like, we got into a fight. And like I stopped using it, well, I stopped using it, but I, I kept the profile and I did um, hop on there a whole bunch after the fact and uh, never ever met someone or paid someone, but it was really fascinating to me how many people that I knew were on the site. Like it was very, very uh, frequent that I would like, see a girl that maybe I matched with on Tinder would also be there or match with her on a dating site. And then I'd go and like, look at the age range and I'd see her there. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, Oh, it's like looking for dating. Dating's up. Like, like, it's kind of like, I remember this time and it's not quite the same. You guys said it was like uh kind of like being escorts. It's not quite the same. Some people aren't to having sex on it, whatever it could be to some people. They could be using it like that. Um, escorts get kicked off the site, but regardless, anyways, um, I just always, I went on and I would like see people and it reminded me of this time when I was in Vegas and I was like at this hotel that I was staying at and I walked out and there was a girl there and she was like, like, Hey, I'll suck your dick for, you know, 300 bucks. Nice. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And then I was walking and like an hour and a half later, I was at the Bellagio and that same girl was at the Bellagio and she was like, I'll suck your dick for 600 bucks. And I was like, what? what? I just saw you said 300 bucks. And she was like, we're at the Bellagio now. <laughs> and I was like, okay and then i thought about like the girls that like you'd see on Can we go I'd to the hard the... rock real quick yeah <laughs> let's, let's pop into how about you give me a hand job at red lobster <laughs> well, I saw them, i'd see them on tinder and then i'd go over and i'd see like them on seeking uh or what yeah well, that's probably the site that was that you guys saw the the, the billboard and i go that's it and they'd be there too and i'd be like well isn't this interesting if i are if i'm to message you on on tinder shit's free tonight but if i message you here maybe it's just like pay you to accompany me to dinner or some shit you know what i mean but it's mm. like ultimately the same service with a different set of rules right off the bat and it was fascinating that like almost every single person that i saw like literally i can't i like literally eight out of ten people on tinder were also on those websites but is she and more inclined to match with you on the sugar babies one right but like, like I, I maybe be, she I, sees yeah. the same guy in both places in like tinder fuck no oh but this guy would be great if yeah but pays. you don't it, it'd be bold to show your whole face uh as it is it would be bold to like people don't necessarily show everything but like i'd go and see like a tinder picture and then you would see that exact same picture like ass cropped only or something like that or like you know like uh, a, per a, a particular picture that wasn't really demonstrating which person it was. But you're right. Yeah, listen, you miss your shot on Tinder. You can go sliding on the other one and be like, I have money for this. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like I, you guys were talking about it, and I was like, you know what? I, I should. I wish I was there because I want to say how common it actually is um, and how common it was to just like like literally like people, even like in my hometown, I like had searched my hometown and like looked at people my age and I was like, wow, I went to school with all these people. Yeah. Now they're out here, you know, pay. I'm just going to pay like, 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 like I, I feel like either we're on a date or it's a business transaction, but muddling the two together seems odd to me. It's like, oh yeah, we're on a date that I'm paying for. Well, here's Wait, your that that's a date with extra steps. Yeah. But you're a young guy. Like, it's not like you're a young, good looking guy. It's not hard for you. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have any purpose on the site as well. Like, but if you are, let's say me and you 20 years older than we are now, and you want to be with a 25 year old, um, you could maybe not come across one in particular, but right here, you could be like, yo, like I have money and I, uh, will buy you things now. Consider, consider me as an option amongst all the 
young hottie boys you're matching with on Tinder. It's you know what I mean? Yeah, but Perhaps, I think still but, as a 55 yeah. year old man that I'm just like rather like just get an actual prostitute, right? Yeah. Well, I hope I'm just married with kids at that point. Are you still going to be Church of Kyle in 20 years from now? I don't know, man. Probably, probably. <laughs> like, 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 I just think Taylor's made the biggest mistake of his life, and it's going to – I mean, I, I think five years from now he looks back and he's just like – What's it? <laughs> What's that? I heard some shit talk. Uh, we were talking about how I heard this song that reminded me of, of you the other day. It's called um, something about um, I put the, the right – no, I've heard that country song. My friend with a bigger dick than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the ASMR category? No, I just went to go look at it. Oh. And I just happened to catch like a really phenomenal moment of uh, Amaranth. I was trying to prove the point that I was like, this person's a, like, she's intense. She does this job all the time, nonstop. Do something that you can imagine doing all the time. Now, I will tell you this girl right here. <laughs> she fucking loves this shit. She loves this stuff. Look, it's like, it's like the, the pants are like inside Don't her. Do what she's and doing because like, you want to do it. Because you don't want to do this. Jesus I Christ. I I don't don't know know my powers. Pack it, you whore. get to the Pack level. All right. I, 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 I know. There. I know how to take my twitch to the <laughs> next level now. <laughs> just my, right. my I couldn't my, even make my point because it was just so wow. crazy what she's doing. But I think that's content actually. But normally it's not like that. It's normally Get this a lot girl four hundred more subs so that she can do her cosplay suit and pick <laughs> something else. I'll they they get the goal. They reach the goal. That stream. Of course, I, I, know. I was there. Jesus Christ. Uh, but she, yeah, then she got the temporary ban after that. And what'd she uh, do? That. That they banned her for that. Well, yeah, because then she takes it off, and then she's, like, eating it. Like, I don't even want to do an impre impression of it because it's actually really nauseating, especially coming from me. But she's, like, sucking the mic and stuff like that. So they ban them for that because they're basically, like, sucking it like it's, like, a dick and, like, looking at the camera and you. It just got to that point where it was very sexual. So they did the temporary ban, which essentially what that does is, like, the biggest promo those girls can get. I'm glad to hear that's going so well at Walmart. That's awesome. <clears throat> Yeah, I listen. I I mean, like, I it's it's like it. Walmart obviously has the potential to be that that quantum leap. I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. I'm still at a, a stage, you know. But cross your fingers for me. I hope I hope Americans do what I always wanted them and expected them to do, and that was to go to a Walmart and buy a product called pizza in a bag. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like they would do that. I feel like you know, like I don't know. And you I probably like, are barely spending anything on advertising. Are you doing any traditional advertising or all? Yeah, we actually, digital? there was a whole Twitch event thing called Beyond the Summit. I think it was like a, it was a Dota or League event going on. And uh, we threw a couple bucks at it to have them put up the website with like a, an order code and stuff like that and things. So like we had done it. I actually, one of the sickest interactions I had was funny. I was, I was hitting up influencers like, hey, what's your address? I want to send you something for free. And I sent one to uh, uh, Bad Baby, Danielle Brigoli, Cash Me Outside. Oh. I was like, hey, uh, I want you to, uh, I want your address, which is weird. Like sliding into a 14 year old girl's DMs, and be like, what's your address? Mm. <laughs> I want something to send you. But so I, I, I sent the thing and I was like, oh, I have something to send. And she wrote back, she was like, what is it? And I was like, it's food, it's like a snack. And then she wrote back, well, I don't accept food. And I was like, okay, cool, you know. But if you're ever in Walmart uh, and you see pizza in a bag, that's that's mine. So if you try it out, let me know what you think. And uh, the funniest thing was I got this response back where she was like, you know, I got a music video coming out, and I eat a snack in the middle of it. Maybe pizza in a bag could be that snack. And I was just like, damn, I know exactly where this goes next, and I can't believe it's like. I don't know. I, it's like a, she's a 14 year old girl at the end of the day. So, like, I'm like, I know. A 14 year old like, entrepreneur. Oh. Right. So, I'm like, hey, that sounds good. And she goes, 25K and we could do it right now. I'll have it done. And it's like a video's filming in four days. Let's make it happen. And I was just like, I, I, uh, I want it to be in that video, but not. It's not going to be that. Not like I can't. That's way to too much. Yeah. Yeah. I know. have it's so many if he's making commercials running pennies on TV. per product at Walmart. You need to sell like two hundred and fifty thousand of them. 
two and a half million on my math is off. Yeah, she's uh, gonna have to change the name nah, of that song I'm... to Super Snack Time. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. like, because of that. Yachty. She was doing a little yachty, and I was like, if if so, I, I bounced back with something that I kind of felt like they wouldn't do. I was like, if you and Lil Yachty wear Super Snack Time jackets the whole video, <laughs> and, I'm in. and then she wrote back. She wrote back. That ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> I'm cracking up. She's actually funny. I'm cracking up at it. So I write back, all right, let's be real. What does 5K get me? And she writes back, a pat on the back. <laughs> Somebody I was like, I was, listen, I was already a fan of that little girl. I was already a fan of her because I saw that her second appearance on Dr. Phil. I don't know if you saw the first one. She was like, eh, catch me outside. Fuck all you hoes, whatever. But her second appearance, Dr. Phil took the audience away so that she wouldn't get distracted. And she came out. She's like, where's all the hoes? <laughs> and he was like, I wanted you to be focused. And she goes, you ain't got no show if you ain't got no hoes. And I'm like, damn. Like, she's like dropping like Rhymes. really funny. Like, like, like this was like a written joke in like Friday After Next, you know, in like 1999. <laughs> she's just doing it on the fly to Dr. Phil. she have like an earpiece in for someone who's old enough to have <laughs> cultural references? <laughs> you know, like I'm thinking like, well, you know, she's just doing this herself. And I used to wonder if she was coach, but then I saw, I saw something, which I'll tell you right after. But she was like, oh, I want to use my power to stop bullies. I get bullied. I know what it's like. And I was like, almost oh, like she's got a heart. You know, she's 14 years old. Let's not give her a hard time. And then the mom came out and you're like, oh, this is the trouble. This is where the trouble comes from. It's mommy who's doing the, the, the problems here, you know, and I see that. And so I was like a fan of her, not the mom. And if you don't like if you have if you look at like a 13 year old or a 14 year old or like a little Tay or whatever, and you're like, I hate that little idiot. It's like, well, slow down. That's ours. Like we made that as society. We created this world where that's the person that comes. That's a kid. Like, how could you hate a kid? They're probably doing what someone tells them, you know? Yeah, but that person was born in 2006. <laughs> yeah. Like, exactly. <laughs> under the it smells like right your wrist. It's just my penis itself. Like, it's just a body part that doesn't sweat much. Like, like my wrist or my forearm or my shoulder. No, you don't think no, your it's, dick it's, banging it's so between more. your two hairy balls all day in that hot pouch of your underwear that you You're guys talking are to a man who drink. owns a bidet and uh, has <laughs> wet wipes so wet. by every toilet. It's wet and it, it, it smells slightly of soap. Are you no, no. You guys, it doesn't, I'm not saying like your balls stink. I'm not saying your balls would stink worse than anyone else, but like your balls don't smell like your wrist. As a matter of fact, yeah. this oh, tastes balls. like soap is a recurring complaint I get, and it's like, hey, woman, that's what clean smells like. Do I walk into your kitchen and be no, like, what you're the just fuck? What you're the hold on, I'm no, doing a thing, no, fuckers. Off, Do I walk into your kitchen and say, what the fuck? This is lemony fresh? No. Jackie, this no. is a half hour conditioner. No, no, <laughs> I, think, I think you're being a responsible imagine lover. imagine Jackie coughing in a bump. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, I made that joke before. <laughs> I think you're being a responsible lover and washing your dick and balls before you're getting into any sort of coitus. That's why it smells too much like soap, because you know you got stank dick. So you're on top of it. You're washing it before. I would wash it. We all have stank dick. It smells like your wrist if your wrist had a butthole like an inch away from it. Imagine there was an asshole right here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like your wrist, I'm sure. If you're wrist... <laughs> I don't know. I just I do think it smells like my vagina. I wish it was right thing. there. That would make life so much more convenient. You're like you'd think of the prank. You're like Spider Man Spark Spray your friends. You're like Puff Car. Just like Puff Car. Just hang your hang your wrist out the window as you're driving. Driver's going going up behind your buddies and like putting them in a chokehold. <laughs> oh my god, a fucking chokehold would be this terrifying. This is a nightmare universe. This is a nightmare universe. Your hepatitis would be a huge problem. How awkward would the UFC be then? <laughs> they just have right, you get an arm part, and the defense to it is to poop. <laughs> like, oh, oh Jesus Christ! So fifty years ago. Being gay was considered like a mental disorder, right? It, like it, it was a diagnosable sort of thing. Like it, yeah. Yeah. now Jewish being too. gay is just part of like the mosaic of too. people. And this is what we are, right? Some are gay, some are straight, some are bi, some are pan, some are things I'm not even sure what they are. Anyway, what mental disorder from now would make a cool entry into just like the mosaic of who, of who humanity is? Like, yeah, some people are schizophrenic. It's not – like, don't look down on them. We just – Like, if uh, you had, like, a schizophrenic person who nowadays they'd be sitting there, like, leaning back and forth, like, this is my friend Phil. Totally normal. 
It's like uh, nobody's <laughs> nobody's there, Ted. And you have to respect well, that. Yeah, I believe is there. I, you know, but I hung out with someone, and uh, it was like a couple years back in Hollywood, and uh, uh, my friend, who's like this, like just this weird Hollywood dude, and uh, another friend of mine, he was like, "Yeah, uh, so my buddy is gonna come by tonight to hang out," and I'm like, "Cool," and he's like, "Yeah, he's this cool dude." Uh, and this is how he described to me. He was like, he's really awesome. He's really like, he's like an excellent actor. He's like a genius and super artistic. And he was a child actor. And everything they say about Hollywood and child actors are true. And he's been through some shit and it changed him. But he's totally cool. And he's like a chill pedophilia guy. kind of stuff. But he has a thing like he has a, a, a disorder. Yeah, that was what I gathered that maybe he had been abused or something. And he's like, but he has a disorder. Um, and he's kind of like bipolar, but he's totally cool. And so I was actually in the scenario where I was fully accepting of like, OK, this guy is bipolar. And uh, I guess I need to know that more so than if my buddy was like, oh, my friend's coming over and uh, she used to be a guy. Like, I feel like that, you, like, or he's gay. You don't need to disclose that. It doesn't define a person. But, like, if someone is bipolar, like bipolar or schizophrenic schizo, or something where they're like going to be erratic. Have that, what's that? Like, anything where they're going to be potentially erratic. Yeah. Like, like if like they might start like, behaving and freaking out. It's like, I, I should know in advance that this, uh, you know, like, something like that. Like that. And it, it all came up to the point that he was like, no matter what happens... Uh, like he's not allowed to drink or like do any partying. And I was like, okay, sure. And so he comes over to this guy and I'm there with my buddy and my Hollywood friend who knows him. And they're like, what's up? What's up? What's up? And he's a cool guy. He's laughing. He's joking. And you know, we have, we have a couple of drinks there and my buddy's like, yeah, I'm going to go shower like the buddy or the mutual friend. So he goes to shower and like we're there and he, he puts a glass down next to ours and he's like, can I get a little taste? And like, so me and my buddy are now it's awkward because I don't know this guy. And we were just told from the one friend that knows him to not give him any drinks or drugs <laughs> because he <laughs> he's bipolar and he, he changes. And it's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And my friend's gone. And I'm like polite Canadian. The guy's like, can I get a little taste? And I have this. And like my You're other buddy that doesn't know him either is like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, why not? I'm like, it's okay. He's like, yeah, it's okay. I'm like, you're allowed to have some. He's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay. So like we give him a little and he like <laughs> sips it and uh, we start talking. And then my buddy comes out of the shower and he's like, dude, he's like, you're not supposed to be drinking. And we turn and look at the guy and he's now like holding the bottle and it's like half gone. At some point, he got the bottle, and he still was drinking, and we didn't realize because we were drinking and talking and whatever. And my buddy was like, are you okay? Like, can you drink? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fine. I'm fine. I just uh, – and, and, and this is what my buddy said to me. He goes, but you, you know what your limit is, right, when you shouldn't – when you should stop drinking or and all that? And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in advance before I start to get a little crazy. And anyways, he did sure. We were drinking. He went out to go have a cigarette, and he was gone for like two hours. And when he came back up to the hotel, like he, he opens the door and he comes up to me and he's like, dude, fucking security is here. I'm like, what? He's like, fucking security. There's saying some shit about something. I'm like, OK. So I walk outside and the security hotel security is there. They're like, we're going to kick you all out or we're going to kick that guy out if it's not his room. We saw him going around on to all the floors and unscrewing all the light bulbs in front of all the hotel room doors. And he's like, we have it all on camera. And he went up and down all the floors and did that. And he's like, so you got to ask him to leave. So I'm like, oh, shit. So I go inside. I go up to my buddy. I'm like, can you come outside for a second? And he comes outside and I bring my Hollywood friend. And I tell my Hollywood friend, I'm like, he, they got to kick him out. And he's like, what? For what? And I kind of just push them both out and close them. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's that. And my buddy came in and I was like, why'd you let him drink? He's like, you let him drink. And I was like, why'd you leave me alone with him? But like, we were inclusive to the scenario, knowing full well that he was like bipolar and and, and whatever, but like, I mean, you know, by saying like, oh, uh, gay people hang out now, I wonder if in the future schizo people will be cool to hang out. But it's like, 
gay people aren't potentially dangerous to those around them. And I don't, I'm not a psychologist, but from what I understand, a, a schizophrenic person can ultimately potentially be dangerous to themselves or the people around them, right? Yeah. It depends on the kind yeah. of schizophrenic. I don't know. I don't know if it was uh, if it was a fake thing or not, but it was a great tweet. I don't know if it was like a fake meme, but it was like, explain a, a bad piece of advice you got in college, and like Monica Lewinsky had tweeted like uh, that an internship at the White House will look great on my resume. That, <laughs> that's absolutely real. I saw that's her really interview. That was a real one. So that's yeah, a real actually, she has a pretty funny Twitter account. She makes lots of sort of self-deprecating humor. She's that's cool really now. That's great. Well, you know, maybe she was, she was cool, cool then, then, too. <laughs> yeah, she's like a dick, bro. That's pretty fucking cool. Cooler Dude, than yeah. anything we've done. <laughs> she, um, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> that's, she's cool now. <laughs> <laughs> the situation was rough on her. She, she, <laughs> she's cool now. <laughs> she's cool with it now, maybe? Like, like that situation oh, was really she's rough. She's cool now. We're over it. She's like the brother. <laughs> Never mind. No, go, go. No, fuck you. But she, <laughs> she's cool now. She wasn't cool then when she was sucking his dick, but now that it's out of her system. <laughs> on the go in, and then they fucked you on the come out. Here he is. I came. Mommy, daddy, I came. <laughs> How are I you, Harley? <laughs> Woody, I didn't come. <laughs> That's all right. All right. It was exactly what you meant. Okay. Did you do a jism? <laughs> <laughs> is this, uh, I did a baby jism. I think you've even told us about self suck before. No, we've talked about because there are two. Di I remember we. Yep, we, it's we, called self suck. There, there are two. It's all dudes blowing themselves. There are two different sucking your own dick subreddits we saw. Yeah, auto fellatio is the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, I just rolled off your tongue. No, the, the about on self suck so says it's basically our auto fellatio, but without the destructive auto mod. That's so funny. That's this like yo. Called, X. The, the, the title of this post is "Going Deep." Oh, no. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. It's like yo, Xbox or PS Five. It's like nah, neither. Self suck. Ooh. <laughs> Self suck. Actually, Yikes. I feel like these top three are they the same dude? Maybe he's a local celebrity. <laughs> are you on which, which this one guy's got an overlay? It says like it I like it huge dot com. <laughs> and he's he's really going to work. Wow. And th now there's some transsexual. Okay. Is she gonna oh yep, she's getting yep, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the forum. That's probably what she's that, gonna that, do. Well she was stroking it at first, and then she's like Usually the the video Come begins on, with them I can do that. in position. Uh, yeah, I can then, do that. We can all do that. And then all of a sudden she's just like ah, and she's on it. Remember that story we read a long time ago about the guy who gave himself like partial paralysis because he sucked his own dick too hard. <laughs> yes, he got a vertebrae or something. I'm watching a guy who clearly can't suck his own dick. He has to stick his tongue out and lick it. Like he's just an inch and a half away. What a bitch! Why is he even wasting our time on this? <laughs> <laughs> Take your ass over to r slash dick liquor. <laughs> <laughs> like a new Reddit just for him. <laughs> it's just him. All by He's also the moderator. The admin, the owner. I'm trying to exist. It does. There's two members. Oh, two members, r slash dick liquor. The one pinned by moderator is the <laughs> dick liquor lounge. Really <laughs> and the, the only post is, why do dick lickers act the way they do? <laughs> That's the only post. What a weird. Uh, that is a crazy site. I love it. What a crazy site. I picture a whole dynamic between like, you know, the PC guys are like, we're the master race. We're the best. And console guys say, hey, why can't we just get along? So the console guys are never quite parallel because they don't attack. They just say, can't be my friend. Console guys are dick lickers, right? Oh, we're in the same club, right? Nah, bro, you're weak sauce. You're not a you're not a self sucker. You're just a dick licker. Get your ass out of here. Yeah, they clearly need to up they are lesser. their moderation because there were a number of dick licking <laughs> <laughs> masquerading. Masquerading. I mean, I know stolen valor has been a theme this season. <laughs> stolen valor in that themselves. context. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it should be, it should be a, a rule. It might be a rule on auto fellatio or self suck on one of them. If it's just like rule one, no lick, boys. Okay, you're, going, you're going full mouth all the way in the mouth, past the knob, or we don't want to see it. If the entire head of your penis isn't in your mouth, you're a licky boy. 
and you need to go. <laughs> right. You, you can't even beat boy. off to our content. I see that Dick. That sounds Jamaican. You're a licky boy. You're a licky boy. <laughs> <laughs> I did see one where it was like, I was, I was definitely expecting a lot less of people just coming on their own face. <laughs> and that seems, that seems to be the worst <laughs> possible way to end that experience. Because like you, let's say you come on a girl's face that you're fucking. Ah, feels good. And there's no mess for you. This, like you're in an uncomfortable position. You are sucking your own dick, which is going to feel a lot more like having a dick in your mouth than having your dick in a mouth. I would imagine. I'm told that. Yeah. You're having to, you're having to do the, the tongue moves and everything. And then instead of just pulling out and beating off to finish, the, one of these guys at least took it out of his mouth and then just started beating it just this far away from his face, just thick, not not that thick of a load, frankly. It was a little watery. He could have used our supplement. Yeah, I spent, I spent some time with Justin Bieber out in Miami, and I thought I would tell the, the story of how that happened. Not anything that I did out in Miami, but I'll just talk about how I ran into him because just for the viewer's knowledge, uh, I did sign a non-disclosure agreement uh, with his management, so I'm not allowed to talk about Wait. anything that we did, regardless of the illicitness. You don't need to say anything, Jaws, because no matter what, we're going to assume you sipped codeine and <laughs> smoked marijuana and snorted cocaine with him. This is awesome. No matter what you so, say, just and and with management and with has it. a non-disclosure like yeah. form that you fill out for so, anyone that touches his monkey. Just for anyone who uh, <laughs> meets him, if you're going to meet him, all the models who came into the house, everything like that, they all have to sign a non-disclosure agreement before they, the, the security will take most people's phones, not if you're in his crew, uh, and I was sort of in his crew, so I was allowed to have my phone around him. Um, or in his crew, else. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Harley, Harley, the way I actually met him is actually through uh, someone who you know as well. I'm, I'm, it's a business venture that I'm working on uh, with Mazi Kazruni, the guy who manages Little Wayne's social media. You know him, right? Yeah, champagne are... duties, of course. Yep. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll just tell the story of how it all happened. And I'm, I'm going to throw in many things that will make you uncomfortable. And we'll I just... can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> um, Your okay, NDA so... stands no chance against our interrogation. <laughs> By the way, just the fact that, that you have to sign an NDA before you hang out makes me assume that like this big dude is like, you'll sign this NDA so that you can't say what Justin Bieber does when you hang out, and then you sign it. And you turn around and he runs in the room jerking off and shitting himself. <laughs> 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 oh my god yeah it's it's something like that it's a really big guy who does intimidate you to to sign it um I, well i mean in in his defense harley you and i have hung out with some remember those two girls we were hanging out with that time mm -hmm. both of them had signed ndas yeah some things i try and forget oh yeah yeah oh, <laughs> oh. we got um, good pictures didn't oh. we uh i've got video are these the girls i met <laughs> It's really incredible. Like no. we actually no. found found uses for guns that weren't violent. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. Nonviolent ways to use guns. Yes, sexual ways. All sexual, right. sexual ways to use guns. <laughs> All right. Uh, and there's to... video of this apparently. I've well, not it. of that. I've there's seen some... there's some video of like I, I want to say they were they were like making out with like chicken nuggets in their mouth or something. While while drinking a bottle of Jameson in the back seat of my car, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it got grimy. It got really grimy. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, it was a little rough. Oh yeah, she was gonna be a lawyer. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, but Sam, you were saying that you were uh, making out with an eighteen-year-old boy. What was it again? Shut up. All right, so I'll tell the story. <laughs> um, so it's it, it might not be like the most interesting story, but I'll just I'll go for it. Um, so I'm I'm do, I'm working on a business venture. Some people know I've talked about it in my videos with Mazi Kazaruni and uh, his company out of San Francisco, and we I've made friends with Little Twist, who is pretty much Justin Bieber's best friend uh, because they've managed his social media over the past four years, his Twitter, his Facebook, his YouTube, and um, we got invited by Little Twist to come out to Justin Bieber's last show because he was going to be hanging out with him there, and. Like Mozzie's, Mozzie's is an awesome guy. He's thinking like, how do I, you know, get to hang out with these guys all weekend? What are we gonna do? He pitched a company, Airbnb, on um, getting a, a mansion out there, and we just we we got the mansion from this company um, just because they love Justin Bieber, and we got to go out there and hang out with it. Or we told Little Twist and Justin Bieber, hey, we've got this fucking twenty three million dollar mansion. Uh, Wait, real you guys, quick. real quick, yeah. what is a Little Twist? <laughs> He's uh he's Lil Wayne's he's nephew. Kind of he's Lil Wayne's <laughs> nephew, and he's like a little rapper. Uh, and he's he's an awesome guy too. I'm friends with him as well, and uh, we just told him like, hey, we've got this 23 million dollar mansion out here in Miami. You guys Wait, can chill in your hotel. Years old, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. You're just a bunch of little boys all hanging out, sipping codeine, fucking hookers together, snorting cocaine. We were having fun. We were just enjoying ourselves. Uh, <laughs> you really are going to be throwing these at me the whole time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we just we, we just said, hey, you know, because they, they really do. What did you think about the champagne doobies? You know about those, right? I know. So we were just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like I shouldn't have come on this call out. Um, so yeah, uh, I uh, was. Bieber's gonna we, call you up and he's gonna be like, "Bro, we we're pitched done, the, man. We, we are just so told him, done. We told him that we'd be uh, in Miami and um, we'd be there for three days and. They came by. They didn't want to be around their management. They didn't want to be around uh, the arena or in their hotel rooms. We told them you could hang out in a mansion with us for three days. So pretty much for three days, I mean, like literally, when I went backstage with Justin or with Justin and Mozzie and all those guys, all of a sudden I'm getting on a tour bus with Mike Posner and Molly Mall and like all these incredible people who are just in his entourage. And because it was like our house. And we had ten bedrooms. We're just like, oh, just stay with us. Mike Posner came over and stayed in the house for a couple of days. Wait, wait, uh, how old is he? Like twenty three, something I'm like that. I'm so old. I don't know any of these people. I don't know Mike Posner. Posner. I don't know Monty Posner. Hall. I don't know any of these guys. Mo Molly Mall. Molly Mall. Like, is that Molly a boy is, or a girl? That's a. It's a rapper. He's a producer. He's, he's produced <laughs> songs for Lil Wayne, and he just did a song with Tyga and Wiz Khalifa. Uh, really? So are, this is like a like a like a gangster rapper named Molly. Yeah, so Molly is uh, my mom a, a had a dog name. named Molly. Well, Molly is Molly is code name for a drug. Uh, okay. Molly MDMA, uh, the MDMA, active drug, which you put in your water bottles and shared them with Justin Bieber. <laughs> confirm that with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a confirmation. For the record, that's not a confirmation. I was merely smiling. I actually, I gotta say, I I, funny joke. I did get a text on my phone from someone who I won't say will, and it says. Please stop baiting little Sam into getting into trouble. We all know who that is. We all know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, um, that, that's pretty much the story. We just told him we had a mansion and he could come hang out with but us. Did you, and... But did you fuck any bitches? It was a fun weekend. Um, <laughs> you know, like, there's fun no, weekend no, for, for no. Justin, and then there's fun weekend for Sam. Did Sam have a good time, too? Like, <laughs> like, is there literally enough bitch overflow that it gets to his entourage? There were, at one point, more than uh, 100 people in the house that we had, and the only boys, the only males in the house, were either people who came there with uh, Justin's entourage or famous rappers, and that was probably like 10 of us. Uh, and rappers, and then me and Mozzie, right? Uh, Mozzie, as Harley knows, is a little short, you know, guy uh, with a huge puffy afro, and I'm a little white kid, and these guys are all fucking rappers, so we're super out of place. But when you tell them like what you do, yeah, like it's a fun Imagine time. Imagine a like, hundred eighteen-year-old girls near Justin Bieber in the same house. Like that, I bet that floor was slippery as shit. Confirm it with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's super interesting because you you would think like like you see the way these girls like react at like concerts and stuff like that when they're Wait, was it super interesting because you were sipping Molly water? It, so you see the way these girls react, <laughs> and um, you think like they're gonna be around Justin just freaking out all all the whole time. Uh, but really, like after they sign the NDA and after they get the, and they get their phones taken away and they realize like I'm about to meet a rapper, um, I'm about to meet an artist, whatever, a bunch of rappers. Uh, they calm down because if you are that person, it doesn't matter if you're a model or just a, a person in the house, whoever you are, if you're in that house and you're talking a lot or you're freaking out that you're around celebrities, you're asking for pictures if, if you did have your phone, like if I were to be asking for pictures constantly, um, you are seen as, like you are outcasted. I, I've seen people thrown out of houses like in front of, like I've seen rappers throw people out of their houses, not specifically the people I was with this weekend, but over the past couple of weeks I've seen people just be like, I don't like that guy, get him out of here. So this I'm is secure. a confirmation that you saw Justin Bieber slap a bitch. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just it, it's it's a really interesting setting uh, and it's funny I was talking to a white boy like about just networking it's the same thing like if someone in a lobby uh, with me or Matt um, you know freaks out like oh my god it's extra oh my god it's Woody you're not gonna like immediately become friends with them it's the same thing around rappers like, if, if you just freak out that you meet them you're not if like you're a model and you just freak out holy shit it's you oh my god oh my god you're not gonna get his attention but if you are you know adding value to the situation, you're being funny, you're adding conversation, or if you're just really hot, in the case of a model, uh, then you get people's attention. Um, 
So yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, that's my Justin Bieber story. I'll get out of here because uh, where I don't was the cocaine? Uh, I'll get out of here. Um, In your estimation: How many women did he impregnate? Just thank you for having me. Park. I really Ball appreciate you guys having me on here um, to tell a story and uh, have a good episode. It's an honor being on here. I'll see you guys. Thanks for coming on, Sam. Hey, bro. I'll see you on Twitter, man. See you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, See, he totally had sex with Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, it's confirmed. He, that's he how you do guess, Woody. You just gotta get him in and have somebody berate them about things they can't and won't talk about. Until <laughs> Harley's like a fucking cross examiner. He's like, so the Molly water. No, I, I didn't even get into it yet. I felt bad. <laughs> and and the stream sniping is bullshit. It really is shitty to like to like fuck with their game. I mean, they're they're working there. It's their job. And you're interfering with that. And these are guys who take a lot of pride in the high level at which they are playing these games. And it's that prestige is what makes them so profitable, not only to, to viewers, donors, but to their sponsors and stuff. And, you're, and if you come in there and make them look bad, it's, it, it's, like, it's, it's almost like a fan like robbing you of a, of, a, of, a, of a catch in the outfield or something right. in baseball People, or something like that. It's they're a, partly watched because they're good at the game. And if I stream snipe all the time, then it makes them hard. It's hard to look good when you play at a disadvantage. And it's also frustrating, right? They're getting mad, and you know that's not a good look sometimes. But uh, the, so what I found most interesting about it, yeah, is get it, a real job though. <laughs> <laughs> the planet is kind of. I was talking to my buddy who lives with Woody? another friend of mine. Oh. Uh, no, a different buddy. I actually I have more than Kyle. two friends. Yeah, <laughs> even by. Yeah. How is, the is this Boston my is this my trip? record? Is this my record for being the latest ever? It, <laughs> it just it was record. it was just a teaser. People have been waiting the whole time to hear about this incredible event. We've been sitting event. here quietly for an hour and forty five minutes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Start over. I want to hear yeah. everything I missed. First <laughs> <laughs> thing was like a pose. This guy was like, "Yeah." So what my buddy would do is he would drop his textbook off his desk and fart at the same time. He goes, "But what he did once was he dropped his textbook. <laughs> it slammed." Everyone in the class looked at him and then he farted. <laughs> and the top the top comment was lag. <laughs> yeah, up. Look at his little arm. How <laughs> <laughs> adorable your neck is in that. Oh my body. god! If I'm, I'm gonna be dead, taxidermied. If I'm dead, there's no doubt in my mind that like my 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 shriveled dead dick would look so small compared to the rest of my body. Like I'm so big and like flattened out and my dick is like shriveled and dead. Like, you know when you puke and your dick like shrinks more? <laughs> it's like you have little puke dick on your dead body. And it's like just as big as I am, it's so much smaller. I want you to put up. Dude, so I have this story. Um, so it, it happened like I'll say three years ago at work. And I was just like sitting in my cube, coding away, you know, pounding on my keyboard. And uh, one of our contractors comes up to me and uh, he's like, dude, do you work out? And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm kind of active. I don't like working out that much, but I like playing sports. And he's like, because your calves, your calves are incredible. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And, and he's like, dude, your calves, like sometimes when you walk into like a, a meeting room, he's like, sometimes I just look at your calves as you're walking and you have like the definition you've got, like you can see the two muscles on the back of them and the curve underneath. He's like, your calves are incredible. How do you do that? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And, and the truth is my father has incredible calves. Mine are just a diluted version of what he has. And he walks around. <laughs> it's getting gayer and gayer. Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, hey. Like, like, it's like getting obsessed now. Yeah, daddy's calves, like, they lock into place. He has, like, if, if you were to just, I don't know, cruise around Disney World or something, you would not see a better pair of calves than my father has all day long. What, we're so, just, um, like, cruising at Disney World now? What the fuck is uh, going on? Enough talk. Send your daddy's <laughs> calves over here. We'll fucking cook that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So let me keep going with the story. He's going on and on about my calves, and he's asking me how I accomplish it, and he's telling me, like, you know, and I, I wear shorts at work a lot because I'm, like, all the technical people get away with ridiculous dress codes. They're lucky I'm not wearing pajamas. Anyway, um, so, uh, and he's like, when you walk into meeting rooms, I check out your calves. I look at them. I don't know how you do it. And I'm like, uh, is there some, like, work-related question that uh, that you have? So that was a couple years ago. My company rehired him, and I saw him at the break room today. So, uh, so I'm like, you know, Dan, you know that story about my calves? Because I told it to him. Dan is a guy I work with. The people know him. He was on the on Painkiller already earlier. And um, uh, he's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, he's in the break room. The guy that loves my calves, he's in the break room right now. So Dan's like, I got to check this out. And he like, you know, puts his meeting on hold because he's not like the main guy and leaves and goes to the break room. And he comes back and he's like, he likes my ass. 
and and that's my story from uh, from the guy that loves my calves. So how awkward is it now when you see him at work? <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with it, man. He's actually married and he has kids. Did and, he ask um, to touch them? You know what a beard no. is? I do know what a beard is. Is there no, some not other the kind? Face of- beard. It's, it's, it's when a gay man has a wife and everything to hide the the fact that he's actually gay. It's called uh-huh. a beard. His wife is his beard, hiding the fact that all he wants to do really is just lick your calves. I think that's true. He's got and no love for his wife. He's got love for your calves. You know, best case scenario, when he goes back do? home from work, he he thinks about I, licking them. You got me fixated on calf licking now. Like I've never, I don't think that's been done, or at least not in an extended. Period. Oh, it's been done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about for me. In, in like, Canada, know, that's like the second date. You're licking calves. <laughs> She's not letting you lick her calves. Like, boom, next one. <laughs> All right. So, but I'm like, you know, I, I don't know if this is like an erogenous zone that I haven't fully explored because it sounds kind of cool. Uh, On the other hand, it's like I don't know, like you know, top of my shoulder blade, whatever. Move on to. I got better ideas, baby. They're right here. No, just, I just imagine this guy like rubbing bacon grease into your calves, like and, and like moaning a little while he does, like mm. me, not me. <laughs> no, not you. The guy. The guy. Yeah, the guy. The guy, guy. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you don't, don't let him kid you. Because I, but that's the thing. I've been known to use bacon grease as a lubricant. <laughs> Even burning hot, burning hot bacon grease, you know. But I'm, I'm not rubbing it on your calves. I, I don't even know you that well at, yeah. at all, actually. Well, what better way to get to know me, really? This is this is getting silly. Let's talk about games now. <laughs> <laughs> why does this this show always go so homo? Like I don't know why. Like like I I got another question. Uh, it was, cats? No, it's it's not okay, gay at cool. all unless you choose to make it so. So But I was on this like podcast thing at one point and uh it was Norm and Tom Green and like I was with my buddy and they could see us and it was just like a fan call and question. It's not like a setup like this and so uh my buddy knows Tom and like worked on the show, so we got to call in and it was with him and Norm McDonald, and uh, he had mentioned, I forget what the question was, but I was just there, and he said something. He was like, well, this and that, and he said a funny joke, so we all laughed, and he was like, this and this, and it was a funny joke, and we all laughed, and he was like, and this, no, because Chris Farley's dead and looked like right at the camera, and it was delivered in like the exact cadence of everything, and like, and it was actually very funny. He was like, "And definitely not that, because Chris Farley's dead." And like, Stone Cold <laughs> stared at the camera. We both just started laughing, and he was like, just straight face, dead serious. Like, it's his friend, and we're yeah. laughing now. But it's also Norm, so it's still funny. It was just like semi embarrassing. Like, but he's the best. He's one of them about that. You did that but- to lose weight, didn't you? Like a diet. I just, that was just a side effect. It was just a cool thing that happened also, but it's not why I did it. Did you go vegan because you had a side I just wanted harder boners. What? You want boners boners. get hard in the morning. Oh, you should have been on last episode when we had our sponsor about boners, but I'm not going to talk about it. Boner sponsor? No, they got to pay for that. Put in the Wings of Redemption Fund. Dude, I'm not trying to get him here next week. I I don't mean to blow Taylor about his ad read, but I, I literally signed up for Blue Chew as an experiment based on Taylor's ad read. That's boner stuff? Blue Chew? Yeah. Yeah. You, you've Chew, heard of Blue Chew, but you didn't know what it was? Dick. Get yourself a hard dick, but like, are you going to have like uh, like gas station headache style shit or what? No. No, it's it's just Viagra and Cialis. So just get the Taldalafil, Tadalafil, the one that starts with a T. Don't get the Viagra one that starts with an S. Because that that'll give you a headache, according to Kyle. Kyle's our dick pill aficionado. I I, I am. He likes, he likes having a hard dick. That <laughs> Kyle, eh? Yeah. He loves having a hard dick. He likes having a hard dick there's, all day. There's master's level hard dick, <laughs> and then apprentices like Taylor and I who just follow his lead. Yeah. yeah, I like a soft dick though. You know, especially sitting right now, I'd be furious if I had a hard dick. <laughs> I'd be furious right now. I'd be Dude, fine. but that was the big thing about like taking any kind of dick pill because you know, like you watch. TV growing up in movies and there's like the trope of like oh, we're gonna put Viagra in Mr. Stevenson's coffee and then he's like teaching about history and he's like what and his dick's growing it doesn't uh, do that you still gotta get that turns into a gay porno that scene by the way I know that yeah and he's like yeah tell me about the code of Hammurabi he's like a, a, <laughs> an eye for an eye and then he blows all over the kid's face Not I literally kid, don't understand why what? Do we're that? on a list now now we're all, <laughs> FBI's watching he's joking it's all jokes everything we're saying Dude, is F- FBI has got has got to have bigger stuff to look at, right? No, they don't. I I, I look forward to seeing this pill. I 
don't understand the like concept of a pill that just gets you hard. Makes your dick hard. Getting hard. Yeah, but is it oh, gay? Is that gay? Harley. Like this pill is Taylor gonna is give you a boner. That it's <laughs> only that's kind of gay, right? Like t- if right. it's not a hey, if it's not a woman giving you that hard on, <laughs> it's pretty. It only gets hard. debatably <laughs> no, uh, gay. I love, I love to take that it's gay to take a dick pill. Oh uh, well, yo, <laughs> this little blue pill is giving you a boner. Bro, that's kind of gay. Dude, guess Why? who invented that Oh, you pill. put that little blue pill inside your body and it's going to make your dick hard? That sounds like you, bro, might yeah. be a little gay. But guess what? A group, of, a group of boys invented that pill, you queer. How do you Yeah, like who do you think? Who do you think? So these men, these <laughs> men package these pills. You're going to unpackage these pills that men packed and it's going to give you a boner? That's why I only... For all these anal. men... <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, bro, I don't know. PK's changed since wings left. <laughs> men, 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 Because we're men. Yes. Uh, yes. I wrote about uh, how RuneScape taught me like like how to manage economy and like supply chain management because I was like in a merchant guild, which oh. is true. But also, <laughs> you're right. I believe that. I believe that. You know, I feel like yeah. there's so many lessons I've learned playing Probably games. Where I've been... merchant guild. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was on the... Is that a Jew joke? No. <laughs> I never know with you. I never know. <laughs> Of course, it's a Jew joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> you know, Amazon sells like you can buy like like uh, like uh, dildos and butt plugs on Amazon. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell and me. Like, and like, no, and like, and like men's sexy men's underwear. Yeah, dude. What did you say? Buy, what did you say? Amazon's. Would you say Amazon's pretty gay then? <laughs> Dude, Dude, I don't that? buy shit like that from Amazon. <laughs> what did that? Wouldn't you say I, Amazon's pretty gay to sell things that you put in your ass? Dude, I buy all my cock rings and don't my you ass think, play stuff on don't Amazon. Don't you think Jeff Bezos is a little gay to own a company <laughs> that sells no. things for your asshole? No, you're right. Dude, that's pretty gay. That's pretty gay of Jeff. <laughs> that's pretty gay of Jeff <laughs> to work out and get so muscular. <laughs> <laughs> While this machine learning program is feeding you ads for things to stick in your ass, Amazon's yeah. like a, the, the one that's small gay of the machine. Of my also, the history. algorithm is gay. The, the <laughs> algorithm is gay if it's showing you things <laughs> that it thinks you want to put in your ass. You're right; it's very gay. But it's Wouldn't you say machine learning is kind of homosexual? <laughs> yeah, it's inherently homosexual. No, it yes. is what you are. All robots are gay. Isn't it, Skynet. You know, that's a that's a fun. Skynet's guy. gonna come and suck you off. <laughs> Skynet, Skynet's gonna make you gonna make you bust. Dude, that's a fu- that's a funny bit. Like a Republican politician who's mad and like a, a <laughs> hearing because he's like, I am tired of only being served ads about glory holes near me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the only thing? And I know that it's it's the Googles, it's the YouTubes, it's the Instagrams, and somehow they know. The kind of butt plug that I, my 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 gay friend uses <laughs> when he when he goes to suck off strange men at the <laughs> ethnic glory hole near my his house. You know, that's just, a good <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> run with that. <laughs> now, why is the internet so gay? And it's like the other the other guy's like, I, I just get served a lot of stuff about sports. He's like, well, that's just weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They're turning us gay. Do you ever think about? Your life, were you going? You were a substitute teacher. Do you think you would have advanced to full time regular teacher? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I did the, the year before, I was a full time teacher oh. for half the year. What did you teach again? Your full time history and media. Really nice. I bet yeah. you would have been a fun ass teacher. I like, I, I never joked straight up, I was super sarcastic and I never smelled. But like the smart <laughs> kids would come in and be like, oh, this guy's fucking around. Yeah, like they, they knew the smart kids yeah. knew like i shaved like a mustache because so i was like i'm a teacher i have a mustache and some kids would come in and be like mm, you don't really have a mustache do you like you grew one for class <laughs> <laughs> i mean I remember the first the funny. very first day I, I taught uh class like that i ever did i was like 22 and like it was like an 11th grade and sometimes they're like 18 and i was uh sitting at the desk like my class is gonna start 
and this this kid walks in like the kids walk in and like one of them looks at me and goes who's this fag right away <laughs> to me and it was like what i had kid? to i had to be like hey what the fuck you say to me bitch <laughs> but i didn't know what to do yet or anything so i was just like oh I just look at my desk for this this thing here where's my where did i leave my papers but I'm just, it's, just, it's just not pretending. my desk. None of this stuff is mine. <laughs> I just wanted to not deal with that yet. But I also didn't want to just be like, you're right. I am. So yeah, I, I I'm was like, I didn't even hear that. I'm looking, where's my stuff that I had here? Now, where I did can't... I put that in this guy's desk? This yeah. high school kid was pretty ballsy just to talk shit to a 22-year-old man. And you're like 6'5". An enormous 22-year-old man. I was sitting and I was wearing a pink collared shirt. Uh, you were kind of a I look like a bitch. <laughs> uh, I remember I was I was playing basketball. I used to play. I was never good. This was like at the local park, and uh, there was a high school freshman, but it wasn't. He was he was a rising freshman, and the uh, the math teacher was the assistant basketball coach. Assistant mm -hmm. basketball coach, head girls coach, and they're playing, and he was good. Our, our this guy had played at Penn State. Our teacher and. The, the young guy was talking smack to him, and he was very disrespectful. And uh, eventually the, the teacher was like, Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Are you about to enter Ocean City High School? Do you have dreams of being on the basketball team that I coach? It's time for you to straighten up and apologize. And all his like friends are telling him to apologize or telling him to straighten up. He stuck to his guns. I like to think that he fucked with him for the next four years. But it was fun mm -hmm. to watch go down. Well, you know. Uh, sometimes when I was teaching, winning I the that, battle like, to lose the war, as they say. <laughs> I know sometimes people like, uh, like in high school, like when I was teaching, like some kids were good kids, and then they'd like, like. They they do something you know or whatever like I I like a good kid and you're like you're like Mark please I said everyone's quiet and it's like he's fucking talking to me but he didn't mean to swear and now he's from like did you just swear in my class like well what the fuck is your problem and I'm like <laughs> Mark you're a good kid you're you don't need to be like this right he's like fuck you you're and it, like it escalates you know and it's like he's a good kid but he's never been in the position before so he doesn't know how to stay chill. So it only escalates further until I was at the point where I'm like, well, now I gotta, I gotta write you up to the principal and say that you, you told me to fuck myself, and I know you're a good kid. This should have never played out like this. You need to, <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> like some really kids, it's just like, yeah, no, I swear it wasn't exactly like those word for word, but there were times where like good kids throughout the year would unintentionally escalate a scenario because they weren't. Like, it was like the teacher, it's like, don't do that. And then their gut reaction was to defend themselves. But yeah. now they're talking back. And now you're like, you're talking back. And they're like, fuck you. But like, you, you, know, like have kids you know, they're that's... nervous and they have like a little bit of stuff in the back of their throat. And it's it, like, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a really specific it, high school scenario. But yeah, it's happened quite a few times. It sounds like it might have started with you being like on the level of wrong, right? Like, hey, hey Mark, be quiet. He was talking to me. Like, maybe Mark was quiet. And yeah, like you said, you're you right. Know. You're right. Totally. And you know, I said, Mark, be quiet. I was wrong. Maybe, <laughs> but Maybe. he was talking to me. And I'm like, regardless, no one's talking. It's okay. Well, I didn't fucking do anything. And it's like, well, now you're swearing. So maybe I was wrong, but now you fucked up. Now, now you like, done suck, fucked up, Mark. Suck you. Suck your mom, Mr. Harley. Suck your mom. <laughs> suck your mom's little dick. <laughs> like, oh, well, now what? Now it's happening. Now you're going to suck Did your you, mom's dick. Obviously, you know, follow instructions. Suck your mom's dick. I got to jerk off to a picture of Taylor. <laughs> oh, I know. Put I it up on Reddit. Reddit. Yeah, daddy's going to do a cum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. It's just the least appealing way to. <laughs> to come, daddy's gonna do a cum. Yeah, it turns out daddy's gonna do a cum. cum, and you got a spinny pinwheel hat on, and you're. <laughs> <laughs> acting coy about it as you busting did you ever have a kid that was like it wasn't even me from the second it. he walked she in said, she said it did you ever have a kid that was so shitty that like you just even though you're trying to be a good teacher you're just like oh this kid's a piece of shit like this kid's an absolute piece of oh, shit oh yeah those kids I was just him. like oh that's my karma I deserve this kid that's the one that it was but I remember like a kid being like oh I'm, and I'm like that's not funny he's like sir you're old. You don't know what funny is. I'm like, listen, bitch. I promise I'm funnier than you. I remember being your age. 
and being unfunny like you and thinking it was funny. <laughs> and I'm like, and look at your friends. They're laughing because they're your friends. I'm like, none of you guys are going to be friends when you're 25. So they're <laughs> laughing at your shit jokes now because they want you to laugh at their shit jokes in art class. But take a look at the girls. Not one girl is laughing because their brains are better than yours right now. Hmm. They don't find you funny. And because like, they don't want to fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm good at this. I know what's funny. It's not you. It's not you. And then I'd be like, you have to stay after class. And I'd be like, and Mark has to stay too. Because you always, when you're a male teacher and you make someone stay after class, you have to make one of their friends stay after class too. Because otherwise that kid's going to say you diddled them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Wait, do you, you'd want to pick one of their enemies, not one of their friends, right? Because if they're friends, it's like, yeah, he did both of us. We both agree. We were both there. Right? It's a good move. Yeah, I was just, I never did Plus, that. you can get him bullied. Right? You could. Just be like, this guy needs to stay behind class, and the biggest bully in class needs to stay too. No reason in particular. I'm like, Mark, you're staying you after. you like, but sir, I didn't do anything. I'm like, yeah, but your friend's probably going to say I touched his dick. <laughs> so you got to come and watch. Wait, this sounds bad. Let me bring that back. Yeah. Wings, you made it. Yeah. Where were you, baby? Just taking night, chilling. Be skippy. Be skippy. You're chilling. I got, hey, ladies. Were you with your girlfriend? That's what we were all guessing. Yeah. How'd that go? We want details. Right. It's just you and I. You just smell your fingers. <laughs> I saw you smell your fingers. <laughs> did he really? He did. You were like, how was oh. your girlfriend? He was like, oh, you know. <laughs> Is that blood beard? Oh, he just rubbed it in your hair. Oh. Is that blood beard? <laughs> oh. So I have I'll be honest. I I do I I do I do a lot of streaming now. Woody, if I could have the floor, please. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What I understand of Burning Man is, is is you can put on a gas mask, be erect, and have and anyone will have sex with you. But on a bicycle. A I saw people on I bicycles. Heard about these rainbow parties, right? Where girls wore different colored lipsticks, they all gave blowjobs to guys, and your dick would have a rainbow on it by the end of it. And yeah. teenage me didn't recognize that that's not even what would happen. He just thought, oh my God, how do I get into a rainbow party? Right? Like, yeah. how does this happen? They're not real. Are you telling me Burning Man's real? That this is a thing? People can get laid uh, at Burning Man? First of all, Man rainbow, parties, rainbow parties are 100% real. Really? really? <laughs> They're not! They can't be! It wouldn't even work! No, they, I, I hosted one. It's not, it's not <laughs> about actually making a rainbow of the penis. Oh. Well then, who, who, what's it about then? It's about a <laughs> blowjob party with different colored lipstick. You gotta, I mean, You gotta tell us how you know they're real. Please tell me you've been to one. Harley? Yeah? <laughs> Have you been to a, <laughs> a lipstick party? No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they raccoons are, like, fucking crazy in Toronto. They are, like, they are raccoons, like, like they live in the city and they travel in, like, 20s. And they're, like, <laughs> big. Like, they're big. I swear, like, I had, like, one time, like, I opened up my back door, like, the, like the blinds, and I open it. And there's like so many of them. And I'm like, Bleh! like on the glass. And they're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> garbage here. And like, understand that these, these raccoons got fed epic meals. Mm. So, like, by like the six months of living there, they're like, what's up, bro? Filled with Where's the garbage at? <laughs> Don't make me fucking come in. And, and like, they did shit. Like, they like, so what they did in the back was they moved a, they, they moved a deck chair closer to this area where they can climb on top of it and now like lift the garbage up like they used things in the backyard to get shit done like they were using tools and stuff they're very smart yeah. and uh they were like eating these epic meals they were like going off and like they would cause a lot of noise now i was only there for a couple days but one of the first days the neighbor who like he's not a, like you just know when someone's like someone looks at you and they're like fuck you fuck you you know and like so he was just one of those guys who was like fuck you and i knew i got that vibe from him anyway so every time i saw him i was like hey beautiful day isn't it um he told me he was like you know these raccoons are crazy so be prepared because that's gonna mess it up for everyone so i was like yeah for sure so i called my uncle i was trying to like get it sorted out he was like i'm gonna bring some bricks over we could put them on top of your garbage and they won't be able to lift the bricks off you'll just move the brick when you want to put garbage in or whatever i'm like okay okay 
it must have been one day too slow. And this guy like came over with like his drill and stuff, knocks on the door. And I'm like, hey, he's like, yeah, can I speak to you for a second? I'm like, yeah, for sure. I just come over to the garbage. So I go and he goes, because you couldn't figure out how to handle it. I drilled a hole into the garbage and there's this hook here and this black rubber thing, it'll go up. And so now when you want, you got to unhook it. They're not going to use this mechanism to be able to access it. I did it with my drill. I did it with some metal I had in my garage because I'm a fucking man and I get (laughs) shit drilled with my own fucking materials that I got myself because you couldn't get it done playing your games or some shit. And I was like, bro, do you smoke weed? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, here's some weed. That was the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you. That was actually awesome. Was I think this mechanism Harley. is great. I'm like, you should put, you should do this for like as a service or something like raccoon proof. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I should. You couldn't do it. And I was like, no, I probably couldn't. <laughs> and he's like on his way. And he was like 25 years older than me. And I was like, I just got like, like if I were any more like my dad or my dad's dad, I could see where he was coming at. Well, because mm-hmm. when I left, I thought about it and I was like, oh, I was like, he did something so nice. And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, no, he fucking took my manhood. And <laughs> fucking he like if I did have a wife, like he was fucking her that night. Yeah. Like That's where it was at. Like, because he was the man of my house now. But I didn't register it that way. I was like, this guy shit. But he did walk all over my manliness. Or that's ability the night to be you a man. all your garbage in his yard. <laughs> <laughs> spell my, my brother he uh worked at the summer camp that i went to as a camper and the guy he was like they just kind of drive around in a van it rotates all the time but it's just my brother and one of his friends and i know his friend is like well, the type the only thing i knew about him is that he would never watch any scary movies and when i was 13 i thought that was so funny that this like 24 year old refused to watch scary movies and I was like, well, like, you know, some people are just like, fuck, like I would never go skydiving or something. There's certain yeah, things, certain people, people don't like just it. don't. Some people will never go into a haunted house. And as a kid, I couldn't grasp that. I was like, that's so silly. He's like, he was a big guy also. I didn't get it. But one of the campers had a Michael Jackson mask. So it had like the black hair and the white face. And I went, when they were looking into the cabins, I went out of my cabin put the mask on and went into the van. It's like a white van. And I was kind of like, so I'm on the ground between the two seats and I'm looking out the front and my brother walks out and he's first and he's walking. And now the light from the cabin, you could kind of see some light in the car. So from the front, you could see in the car a little bit, but it's dark mostly. And it's just one of those big white vans. So it's all dark by but I'm mm-hmm. waiting for them to come. My brother's walking and even though I wanted to scare my brother and just see what would happen, the other guy, I didn't really get the good scare because he saw me in the <laughs> car. And even though the rest of the story is kind of funny, whatever, nothing was as fascinating to me as seeing someone frozen solid. He took the two steps and he stopped. Like, it's like he was like, <laughs> and I swear to God, his face was like this person to be like laughing and then be like, and every fear they've ever had about <laughs> ghosts and monsters is 100,000% true because there's a fucking ghost monster in the car. And I'm like waiting like this. And my brother's still walking like five, six steps, opening the door, getting in. And this other guy is like <laughs> so much so that I forget to scare my brother because I'm looking at him like mesmerized. And my brother comes in and he puts his hand down. And it goes right on my head. And like, I forgot I was there. And like, just like <laughs> I was looking in, his hand goes on this like Michael Jackson wig. So it's like long hair. And he's like, what the fuck? And he jumps out and it ended up being this monster scare because the other guy's already frozen, staring mm-hmm. at me. And my brother just touched something. He touches, he sees him and I'm kind of like laughing now. And I'm like 13. So it's like such a success. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to like laugh. So instead I'm kind of like, <gasps> but whatever it is. And- for my brother, he's seeing, like, I, I think it's, like, over. Like, he gets it, but he's caught up in, like, this guy frozen solid and this, like, creature coming out. Like, no one thought it was me. I, the mask is still on. So it's kind of like the monkey. I don't know when your sister pulled the mask off and you knew it was her or if you got it right away. But this was, like, a long – like, this guy got scared for, like, 15 seconds. It wasn't like a oh. – <laughs> it was like a 15-second, like – 
<laughs> That's <laughs> great. Like for my brother, it was like a big scare too, but like it was really mesmerizing, and I, I just don't think he ever forgot that. Taylor, uh, wait, I want to do a round table on this. Do you have okay. a uh, an adult skill you haven't mastered yet that you should have? Um, I know how to how to be accepting color. of other people's cultures is a good one. <laughs> 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 how to be? Uh, how to be? How to be like chill with Chinese people? No, I don't. <laughs> Ghost dog. My problem. How many force, like? Oh, my problem. I was force, say, like how many? Okay. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> my problem with Forrest Whitaker is he always seems to have this. So there isn't any private wanking space. Where did he get caught masturbating? I guess you don't know. That's Probably into a happy sock. I imagine. I don't know. So I meant like uh -huh. the room. Did he go to a, a bathroom stall or was he really You'll just... have to ask Chiz. This he... is no, Chiz's he did it in his bed. He jerked off in his own belly button and ate it out with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I, I, picture, you know how it works. I picture like you know 28 how beds in a large room with a high ceiling and he was just moving very little in hopes of oh, not being noticed. Oh, you're thinking of an orphanage, not a dorm. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of like an orphanage. It's like a big room. The nun's walking up and down and everyone has their little white beds. And you just hear like, ree, 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 ree. <laughs> What's it sound like when you masturbate? <laughs> that was like, a squeaky bed. That's what that was. Oh, no, was no you didn't bed. catch that? Yeah. No, I do. I do that. I was going like, to say lube, Harley. Lube is your friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that's good that Kyle isn't getting molested there was a, or anything. A, a clear lube sound, and it wasn't from Taylor or Harley. Like, what? How did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me. That, that wasn't was... me. That was Harley. Oh, that is Harley. It's his mouth. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see. I'm like, where? Yeah, sure. Harley. What's your reaction if somebody thinks you're gay? What do you mean? You get missed. Someone is like, oh, you're not gay. I thought that you were. How do you react? Who is it though? And uh, so I talked to someone from friends. school. I had sex with a girl once, and she asked me that like right after, and I was like, "What did I do?" I was huh. like, "What did I do?" <laughs> like I literally, like, literally, literally like, we literally had sex, and like ten minutes later, she asked me that, and I was like, "What did I? What did I do to you?" <laughs> what happened? What did I do that was gay of me while having sex with you, a woman? Right, that's pretty not gay. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, so I was like blown away. Uh -huh. Um, She was just like, nothing, I'm just asking. And I'm like, okay, I'm obviously doing something right now that's very gay. Well, you what tried it when I took my pussy out. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, so fun to do this. Love the whole world. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Will Smith. You see that article? He's like, he's like, I'm having so much sex with women that I'm. It makes me sick. It makes <laughs> me <laughs> ill. Right? Did, did you see that? That's he's like no. hardly yeah. seen that. Yeah, he he was. There's like an interview from like a few years ago where he's like, I just have a visceral response now when I have sex with women. Just like I just get ill. Yeah, everyone talks like, about how his wife slept with that one dude, Austin, or something. And it's like they have an open marriage. Will Smith is probably like you have no idea. He's Will Smith. He's an A-list Oscar. He wins Oscar. So what, A-list actor. Seems, seems what do you Oscars. think? What do you think's he's happening though, Woody? You think he's having I sex think... with women? Yes. Lots I don't. You think he's? I no. think he's having sex with men. Perhaps well, if having sex with women makes him. I think sick. that. I think that. I think there's only one explanation for why he keep doing those movies with Martin Lawrence. He's fucking that, Martin Lawrence. He's fucking Very Martin Lawrence. In the ass. Yeah, that's Martin, pretty gay. Martin's really a little interesting. interesting. Yeah. Fact it, have you, if you ever watched that show, Martin, like like when he dressed up like Shanene with the long nails and everything, mm -hmm. like I think that Will Smith makes Martin Lawrence to this day dress up as Shanene and do Shane that. Shane Dawson voice. stole that bit from Martin? Yeah. Whoa. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> if, Martin. if Martin's dressed up as Shanene, it's not gay anymore. No, that's uh, that's I true. I could get gay. into that, but wait, hold on. I didn't want to. I didn't want to dodge this question. I mean, in that scenario, I asked about it. I also had um, a friend of mine, a, a, a girl who is gay and a YouTuber, and like one time she came up to me. She was like, "I know you're gay," and I was like, "Yeah," eh? <laughs> and she was like, "No, seriously, I know you're gay," and I was like, "Whoa, why? How do you know that?" And she was like, "I just know," and I was like, "Why would you say that?" And I'm like, "Am I doing something gay right now?" What am I doing that's gay? She's like, nothing. Just, I know. You know, I get it. It's okay. Obviously, I'm gay. I just imagine you and straight like, with, yeah. tell me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you are gay. I know that. And it is cool. Of course. If I were gay, I'd be gay. Why are you saying I'm gay? What yeah. did I do? 
And then, like, I would, like, get high sometimes, and I'd, like, hear something that I said. I'm like, I'm going to suck his dick. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I know I'm That's funny there, but gay. am I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I yeah. I'm like, was that gay of me? Well, um, if we're using evidence in mean, the show, different. we've all said very gay things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's, if That's it's where I... so now being, being 36 compared to, like, if you did that at, like, 25, I'd be like, no, I'm going to fight you now because you said <laughs> such a thing. So now, like thirty six, I'm like, no, of course not. Why? Do you know a guy that yeah. wants to fuck me? Let me see. Him. I would just Maybe. be, I'd just be Maybe. curious. I'd be like, what, vi- what was I putting out there that made you think that? What if? Like, what I'd if be interested. Was, what if it was uh, like a, like a, like a, it, it, if she told you, no, no, actually, Alexander Skarsgård, he's really into you. He's a good looking man, and he's got yeah. actor money. Like, I'll have to yeah. give it a go. You're gonna have to give it a go, right? Yeah. Like. What, what and, position and am I just actually start that? I just, I, I just <laughs> think like, I'm not... the best part is you get to take his name and you get to be a scars guard then. Oh, and I and he's gonna use his clout to like have me be like, <laughs> the fourth bad scars actor guard in movies. The yeah. fourth scars guard actor, and and like you can fall in like a Baldwin and just get by by the. <laughs> just, just get yeah, you're be in like, North like, there's, the, there's the three good looking ones, and then that kind of goofy retard. That, like, <laughs> you're giving it to her, or were you on the grass being real dirty? No, there's no grass. It was like it was actually like pavement under that, and she was just like forward, like holding like the the bleacher bar, and yeah. I was like behind her pumping, like you know, hands on my hips. Do you feel like dope as fuck? <laughs> uh, it was. It was more like. I didn't even need to finish or enjoy it. It was just like it was in high school. So back then it was like, yo, we got to do it because then we did it and then it's done. And then it's like a thing that I did that I'm so cool and I could tell my friends I did it. And that's the most important part is that people know that I have sex, not that I <laughs> do it or I'm good or I enjoy it or anything. It's just to tell people that I'm doing. I'm that someone thinks highly part. enough of me to let me stick my cock in her pussy. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I used to be like that all the time. I used to always be like, oh, thank you for that, by the way. Thank you so much. For doing that with me, you used to say that. Yeah, I used to always like it'd be done. I was like, "Thank you." And they'd be like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you talking about?" I'd be like, "Just to you know, fucking unfuckable ogre like me." Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I used, I mean, like me at like my biggest like epic meal time, like my biggest smelliest, like just like basically like busting bacon grease. I used to sit there and be like, I'd look at the girls and I'd be like, "Why are you doing this?" Yeah. Uh, you don't want to do this because you get a million views of video. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had muscles glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, people That's how the like, future works. Like, oh man, China's so scary with their facial recognition polls and everything where they can just tell. We know, bought that. We thing. bought that shit last it's year. Only- like, and people act like, oh, that's never going to happen here. No, they're like probably going to be rolling that shit out in like Des Moines. In but 2020, then, to not even it. that. You like got your MacBook in 2008, and you're like, "Look, Daddy, it recognizes me." You stupid bitch. You're on the fucking list now. Yeah. You thought that was to unlock your MacBook? No. Yeah. We know People are you. Afraid of the government. No one here like, oh, can the, complain. The government knows all these things about us. It's like, no, they don't. You fucking retard. When the government needs information, they go to Facebook. They go to Google. Facebook and Google know way you know, more of the fuck about you. You know what I heard that was really interesting? You know how, like, sometimes you're there and you're like, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. we got to get uh, dog, we got to get dog food. Yeah. And then you go and you turn on Facebook, you're about to jerk off into your own belly button, Woody, I bet. And then <laughs> before you go to Pornhub, you have Facebook open and you open it up and you're like, oh, shit, an ad for dog food. An ad for belly button cleaner. Mark <laughs> Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Wish app. This is a cum scooper for your belly button. <laughs> this, uh, you're like, yo, Mark Zuckerberg's listening to me. Because I said dog food. And now the Facebook, it heard me, the microphone. But realistically, it wouldn't make sense that they're, and the answer is actually scarier than, than yeah. a guy mm-hmm. listening being like it's every it, two, every two weeks you fucking buy dog food exactly so it knows and, your and, and that's and, and that's scarier than a guy being like write this down yeah he said dog food <laughs> write it down send it to facebook let's get a fucking ad on him now fbi go get an ad on his shit face dog dog food. Oh, it's yeah. scary it's a robot that is like every fucking second thursday you buy your dog dog food i know because i got your credit card information I, I know which food store you get it from. I know the brand you get. I know everything, and it's just computer learning. 
And it's not like they're listening. No, in fact, it's yeah. just. Uh, and I saw if this in the documentary. You're saying way that's more a pushing this for is less or more toys. scary. I yeah. think that's scarier. Yeah, I think Advertising it's scarier. Advertising geotargeting yeah. capabilities are are getting out of control. We're like, I'm sure Harley knows some about this because you work in consumer products business. You can be like, all right, our sales are struggling in this retailer, which is mainly clustered around, let's say, Raleigh for example. All right, we're going to set a 10 mile radius around Raleigh for Google ads. And we're going to only serve them to people when we can tell they are in this store specifically in the snack section. Like only when they're, if they happen to jump on their phone as they're walking through the snack aisle with Harley's product in it, you can serve them with an ad right there on Facebook. Is that real? Or there on Google. Yeah, 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 yeah you can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can drill down so yeah. fucking like, like <laughs> that's why in the future, it's you're easy. literally going to be walking and it's going to be like, it's gonna be like turn around. Like, hey, Woody, when was stickers. the last time you went for a dental checkup? And it'll be like future mm -hmm. like that. Like they're gonna fucking talk to your ass. Yeah. And they're Woody, like, do you, you have get toilet short. paper at home? Because based yeah. on your diet, Porn recently, Hubble, you know. how often you've pooped, you might be out. <laughs> By the way, Charmin Four Quilt has a thirty percent off coupon. Download now. Just enter you guys, your social security number, you idiot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guys want to see something? You guys want to see something scary? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. See spooky. You guys got iPhones? I do. No, mm -hmm. I'm too poor for that. Okay, so if you don't have an iPhone, you're a fucking low life scumbag, and everyone thinks <laughs> that you're fucking hey, green we all text bubbles are weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm a green so, text poor person. Okay, come on, I'm holding an iPhone Seven Plus, so you can't play that card. Yeah, I have literally a Seven. <laughs> um, yeah, look at us, right? Seven yeah. Plus guys, these kids with their tens. So <laughs> take it, take it, Woody. Okay. Take it out. Go to your settings. Okay. This would work in a previous conversation. That that words, those words too. Take Which it words? out. Yes. Take it yeah, out, take yeah. It, Let me see that out. blue chew. Let me see that blue chew special. Um, so uh, go to um, privacy. Mm. See that it's a little blue hand. Right. Looks like it's on your side. It's a blue hand saying stop. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Hit that. You yeah. did that. I'm with you. Now your location services. Are, is that on? It is. Now you might not have this because you may have just been lucky, but mine's been on, and I don't feel like turning it off because they know anyways. But if you scroll down when you hit location services, what's the bottom one say? Um, system services? Oh, the very bottom one. Yeah, system services. Hit that. Uh-huh. Fuck. Now look, yeah, yeah. Now you see the bottom of that? You see significant locations? Yes. It's do you on. have that on? I do. Oh, you motherfucker. They fucking got you by the <laughs> dick, you pussy. Uh, hit it. No, go so hit it. Tell, What's it going to tell you? Yeah, tell yeah, us yeah, what sure. happens when you hit it. It says touch what, ID it for settings. So I guess That's you... right. We are, we are like five menus deep in our fucking phone, and our phone has the gall <laughs> to ask for the password now? Did I'm through it? fucking 15 fucking sub menus, bro. <laughs> this is obviously my shit. Why are you asking for the password now? We yeah. should have been password fucking 18 thumb swipes ago, bro. Oh, shit. But this is how deep we are. Yeah, oh, shit is right, Woody. Why don't, you tell us, why don't you tell us what you see there? All the places And for those I've watching been. at home, yeah, all the places you've been. <laughs> That's, all That's right. Well. That's right. I, it, wow. It, right? it goes back to like 2018, yeah, 2017. Yeah, like all my trip to Utah, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and like, here's the thing. So like, if like, I have mine here. It says like New York. Glendale, West Hollywood, Richmond Hill, Marina Del Rey. So then here I'll see like, you know, Beverly Hills, California, 2018. It says three locations. So now I hit Beverly Hills and it has three locations. It'll say like one, Wilshire Boulevard, September 12th, 3.37 p.m. arrived by 15 minute car ride, stayed until 6.14 p.m. and left walking. This is how accurate it is. Now, obviously, we're looking at it on the iPhone, but of course, all the phones have it. And not just that, but if you sign into Google, Google is recording this on behalf of your benefit as well. Facebook is doing it as well. All every app, fucking, and they're all you know, they're all free services, which means you're the fucking uh, you're the product. Dude, there. you know who this? You're the shows? bell of the ball. The bell of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know who this but that's the it. Most it's got it's got serial killers. People in the last century getting a, being a serial killer in 1941, easy as shit. So easy. Being a serial killer in 2019, really hard. Yeah, like, back in the day, you'd be like, thought. back in the day, you'd be like, uh, we're gonna fucking cut her head off. We'll wipe the blood off our face with our own shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll we have time to have sex. 
We have time to have sex with the body. With the head. And, put, and, and, you, and leave traces of our DNA inside of it. Hey, and we're fucking tossing it over there, the ridge. Man. Like why? Why shouldn't I blow in there? She's dead. It's just because it's gross, man. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, like, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna shoot her into the canyon. What am I gonna and have? No one's ever gone to the bottom of the canyon. So what am I gonna have Dude, another honestly, opportunity to fuck a neck? Huh? This is you, it's now you, or never, boys. You know how they always say stuff blue chew. How many necks you want to fuck? You know how yeah, they'll yeah. say stuff like, "Oh, Wayne Gretzky, you move him to today, he's not as dominant." That's gonna be the serial killer thing. You take Ed Gein, try and put him in 2019. Nah, friend, nah. He's not killing nearly as many kids or raping them or storing their bodies underneath this house. Maybe that was the BTK killer. I don't know. But basically, we're going to run out of serial killer movies that are that are real, that are nonfiction in this century. We're going to have to only go back heroes. to Bundy. In the I, can see, I don't No, think I I'm can... done with superhero shit. Enough is enough. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go back to Westerns or something else. My Every truck time... tracks my location and my phone tracks my location. And if you put me in my old truck, I don't know how to get anywhere. These are all problems. <laughs> yeah. I What's mean, crazy is like, is like, like, let's say you're gay. I'm not saying you are. Let's hypothetically. just say, hypothetically, what you, I'm let's say flamer. you yeah. feel like actually, and there's absolutely, I made lots of gay comments. There's nothing wrong with being gay at all. Of course not. Mm -hmm. But let's say you were gay and you were just like, you didn't want to be upfront about being gay. Right. And no one knew that you were gay. Your phone knows you're gay and your truck knows you're gay. Google knows you're gay. Yeah, Google knows you're gay. Your truck knows you're gay. Your phone knows you're gay. Yeah. Even you if to, you even you like you could the... do the whole thing, you could have your family, you could all everything like I'm such a loving dad, I fuck my wife. And then your truck is like, oh, but yeah, you like you like jerking off to 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 dwarf Gimli yeah, porn, don't you? Here's, here's hardly where the problem comes in. Right? None of this is a problem yet. The problem goes this way, right? Because you're like, you're kind of like, you know, we're already fucked. They already have everything, right? And yeah, that's fine until two, in two, until two of your circles overlap that really can't overlap. And maybe that goes, okay, maybe it goes uh, public opinion changes. We start legislating something again and something that was legal no longer is legal or something that is, and we're not making illegal. We're now suddenly very judgmental about it, right? And suddenly that is now accessible with your data package. Maybe uh, some, a sponsor wants to invest in your channel or something. And they kind of go to, you know, ask about this stuff, ask around about this, kind of get your data package. And it turns out, you know, you're always making these uh, homophobic jokes or something, right? And this is suddenly, you know, that's tracked somewhere. That information's there. And that's suddenly a big fucking problem for them. And it's like, it's when these, these, these disparate things overlap, it becomes a problem. It's not actually a problem if my computer tracks all the sites that go to it. It's not actually a problem. My phone knows where all these things go. It's suddenly a problem though if this shit gets linked to somewhere else where it's now detrimental to me and then it's a problem. So I don't know I don't know. I don't know if I buy it's this. It's like idea no, that, it's like it, it's it, no yeah it's absolutely right. It's sorry you were saying you don't know if you buy into this idea that the idea that it's uh, that we're just we're just fucked we can't do anything about it. It feels like on some level it's damage prevention to try to keep as much of it personal as you can. And you yeah are, so you they say fucked, but... in, in that documentary that I watched they were saying that like standard some companies will have 5,000 points of data on a particular wow. person. So 5,000 oh, points of data is insane amount of knowledge. Power. You, yeah. could you could date someone for 10 years and not have 5,000 points of data on them. And a lot of the data is also like private. It's true. Like people been like, so what? You think I give FBI watch, look at my camera, I jerk off. Enjoy the money shot. It's not that simple. <laughs> that's like, okay, sure. That's a, a problem. The FBI is going to know about our small dick, Harley. <gasps> so, like, that's its own thing. But, like, what he was saying is, You're like, it's five. in the long How run. It's, it's in the long run when, like, I go to get, like, insurance for my car. And they're like, so from 2010 to 2019, you did this booze-heavy YouTube show. So it looks like you're an alcoholic. So we're going to charge you a premium right. on your on your 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 insurance because mm -hmm. you're an alcoholic. You're like, why am I an alcoholic? You're like... You on all your social media, you spoke about Jack Daniels for ten years, or even worse. So like that's, worse than yeah. that. You get I me mean, like that's that's bad enough. But then you could do something like, all right, what's your? Let's say that your sexual preferences come up repeatedly. Let's say you know, okay, you're doing a Pornhub, you're looking at whatever deviant, whatever fucking shit Midget gets you stuff, off, right? Yeah. Sure. At some point, goes, well, someone who does that can't be a good dad. We're gonna take his kid away, and they have that data point. And at some point, that's just a legislation thing at that point, whether or not what's allowed and what isn't allowed. So the, the, the issue of like, you know, if you go, well, it doesn't matter. This shit's being collected. I'm not saying you're saying that. I'm hearing you're expressing concern, but I hear that argument put forth. I don't have anything to hide. 
that's good and well so long as your morality and your ideals line up right now with what's being legislated. Yeah, the the that yeah, yeah no, I, I, I totally agree. And actually, that, that was when I was making the point where I was like, oh, no, we were on the fucking list right now. We're on the grid. That's what's up is like, uh, uh, yeah, it was not me being like, well, we can't do shit about it. You know, well, we could yeah. actually do very, yeah. very, very little bits, a little, little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, and actually, and I don't want to sound like fucking G.I. Joe, but knowing is half the battle. <laughs> and it's true. Actually, knowing it, like the difference, the difference between privacy, like being like, oh, no, my dick on camera. I didn't mean for that. It's <laughs> different, is different from like the long term repercussions of reading your private messages, being like, like reading your private messages and, and holding it against you down the line. Cause, but that's where we're actually like very quickly heading. And well, I always, what it's going to impact first is going to be stuff like healthcare, where they're like, you know, we don't notice a pattern of exercise exhibited anywhere in your in your social media account. So we're going to add you as a sedentary. Your iPhone steps, your oh, iPhone your, steps your are iPhone like 4,000. Yeah, we, we and, have, and we most people are like 15,000. That's not good. We also sense that you're sitting sedentary for a while. Oh, you talked about smoking vapes or smoking a cigarette. Oh, that's not our, good. our AI oh, you analyzed your tobacco. posture across 2000 streams. You have bad posture. That's going to lead to back problems. We can't ensure yeah. that. Like it's almost, it sounds like science fiction. The amount that these companies. Know it is, about us. it is, but that's what they say that and like our friend who said it, but like they said that like the dystopian future, like that we're going to welcome it without realizing it. Yeah. Yeah. We already yeah. have. And we are. Yeah. Like, we're like, TikTok, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> like, that's it. We're here. Yeah. This is it. We really yeah. are. We're here we're for like... the end of the ride, boys. <laughs> we did I, it. I went to a, like, and, and just like, not even the fact that like Amazon is crushing every kind of small business and like mainstream businesses they're crushing. I went to, oh, they're, Target will be in trouble sooner than later. Target is be crushing it. Amazon, you know, Amazon sells like you can buy like like uh, like, and Rice Gum ducked him. Rice Gum called him school shooter, which is like it's just like a nothing, just whatever comment, but it is pretty funny to call him school shooter. <laughs> he was like, oh, "I heard what? school shooter made a video about me," but it's like you can't keep talking shit. He's ready to get in the ring with you. He's ready to do the thing, you know. <laughs> One of the things I like about iDubs, as far getting as getting in know, the ring is everything to me. Yeah, he, yeah he's I never. Think, I think when I watched all these YouTube, <laughs> I was gonna say that iDubs has never picked. Woody, did you ever dislike me? No, you never ever disliked me. I don't think so. Do you know did something? You, did about? you ever dislike anyone from Epic Meal Time that you had met? I don't think so. Because I, I specifically remember after the multiple times meeting you, we would leave and we would have like a download of the people that we were with and stuff like that. And it was very like, what's with Woody? What's his problem? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you're serious. A hundred percent. I'm being serious with you. And, and I, I would say that like one of my abilities is like people analyst. And like I, okay. I, I get. I, I get like, you know, I, I feel like I have like just insight sometimes. And like when I, I left those scenarios as a person who's pretty good at it and I'm telling them like, no, 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 he's just that he I don't think he hated you. I don't think he was mad at us or anything like that. I think you're just making that up. A part of me was like, I wonder if he he, he doesn't like me or if he's if he's mad about something. And so if people think that you're mad at them. And they don't get exposed to you often and learn that that's kind of just how you are. You automatically build a resentment. So people sit down and have like a two hour, three hour encounter with you and they don't know you fully. And they're like, I don't know if he really liked me. I wonder why he didn't like me. You this know is blowing me away. That Never Fuck in that guy. Like, I, I, like every oh, time. This is a hundred percent true. Uh, that what exactly what you just said where we had a two or three hour conference like the last time i left i know i was shit faced i was like oh man i, I like i felt like i disappointed woody it's like <laughs> yeah. i thought we had a, i thought we had a good time but at, at the like i still remember I we had a good time me too but i remember <laughs> your face woody specifically like giving me giving this look and it was, probably wasn't even about me but i remember that face and just like kind of feeling bad like <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually it's true and that's why before when we were 
were going, we couldn't get Woody's camera loading. I was like, it's important to me to see Woody's face. I take cues from his looks. He like, did. He still, literally said that. Yeah, I did. It's actually true. Like that's like it's it's a thing. So I think uh, it's uh, people Are you all fucking with me. No, no, I swear, I swear. It's 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 you, <laughs> but like it's not really. <laughs> It's not really – they don't really hate you. They're just defensive because they think that you hate them. Like I, I was pretty sure you thought maybe you were better than me or you were better than – you know, and that's just the vibe you gave. We, we went do. to uh, Arkansas. We also went to Oklahoma. There's actual cowboys in Oklahoma, like for real, wearing cowboy boots and cowboy hats, going to small town diners, and they're not cosplaying. Like that's just how they are. <laughs> I was like, holy like, smoke! Wanna, like, yeah, or like, or like they're not like at the gay bar if you're in LA. We're just like, there's <laughs> cowboys here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those don't seem like very effective chaps. <laughs> you know, can I tell you guys something really crazy? Go for it. And you might think I'm crazy for this, or you already do. Mm. I had a meeting. I got an email once from Johnny Depp's sister back when I was a big deal on YouTube, you know? Um, <laughs> I got an email from Johnny Depp's sister being like, oh, I work with Johnny Depp. He has like a production company. And uh, anyways, he loves your show. Um, and uh, Johnny doesn't do meetings, but I do. Um, I would love to meet you if that's good. So I made a plan to... A, a, a day to go meet her in actually Johnny's office, like in his little office building. And so I go to the office building and I get there and it's just her. This is where I'm going to sound crazy. It's just her. I'm like, Hey, what's up? How you doing? And there's, there's junk everywhere. Like, like memorabilia. There's like a toilet seat signed by Sean Connery hung up. There's a million <laughs> weird things. There's like Jack Sparrow shit. There's fucking a full Edward scissor hands, like costume thing there. There's like tons of shit and cool things and things to look at and paraphernalia that he kept awards, whatever trophy. There's a ton of things. There's like a crazy ass weird mirror. Um, she's like, yeah, come check out uh, Johnny's office. People love it. It's so cool. So we go in Johnny's office and it is really fucking cool. And there's like, it's like a fucking office and it's wooden. It looks like from a movie set library. It's so crazy. And then she's like, come this way. And then like we push through a fake bookcase Ooh, and end up in cool. this like big like ass cool room. It's like this is like his like study hidden in his office. And there's like a crazy ass mirror there, whatever. And I just kind of like I'm looking at everything and it's kind of like quiet. It's weird. I have a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. I've had a weird feeling the whole time I've been in here. Mm -hmm. It's just been weird. So yeah. I end up okay. watching you from I'm, 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 through, through like a painting yes. with, with, with eyes cut out. I'm getting a weird <laughs> feeling just you telling the story. Yes, yeah, like Kyle. Yeah. But Johnny's there. Yeah. It's spoiler <laughs> alert. That's exactly what I felt. I didn't realize that yet, though. Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp is watching me. I'm so What a powerful presence. <laughs> you so, I, I, I feel like I'm being watched. We're looking at a thing. I'm like, this is fucking cool. Whatever. This is chill. And there's like a mirror there again. And, the, and like, so then we go out of another secret door and we end back up in the same hall. Now we're back where we started, but we did a loop. Okay. So like, there's no like corner to this building. Like it goes around and then we're sitting there talking. And this is the craziest thing is we're sitting there talking and there's like a wall behind me, like a corner. And it goes like that in a wall and there's mirrors everywhere. And in this mirror, while she's talking behind her in this mirror, it's reflecting to a mirror over there. <laughs> Which is reflecting to a mirror over there. So it's right there. <laughs> so I'm not turning around and looking here, but I'm looking here through all the mirrors. And someone is sitting there against the wall. Like they're they're like this is a wall here. Mm -hmm. And it turns. Someone is sitting there behind us, and they're facing that way. And I can kind of see the figure. They're sitting there. It's a man. And he's sitting there and he's got like a jacket on and he's got sunglasses on and he's looking forward, not at us. And mm -hmm. my my brother, who was my business partner, he doesn't see him. We're not supposed to know he's there. He's <laughs> over there sitting there as if he was two steps ahead of us or behind us as we got the tour of his place, watching through the mirrors in every single room and then sat down in the back and like listened. Because like how useful would the meeting be if Johnny Depp is taking you around his place, you would just be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, <laughs> so, sorry, <laughs> fuh, fuh. 
<laughs> you know, like, I'm retarded now. Like you would be like, you wouldn't be able to focus. And he probably knows that through experience. So yeah. I think he was, was that like, lady really that fat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was watching us the entire time. And we did take the meeting with Johnny Depp. Well, he took it with us. We didn't take it with him. Yeah. But he had a meeting with us. We didn't have one with him. No, that was That's very really cool. magnanimous of you to offer your time to Johnny like that. Yeah. 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 Kindness, really. Yeah. <laughs> So you think he was just sitting there creeping, trying to like hear I, little little bits and pieces to get a he heard everything. You were. No, I, I think picture, he heard everything. He was in one room behind oh, us every time. Or I picture him sitting there. Time. I picture him sitting there like Doctor Claw from Inspector Gadget, just petting a cat. You know, like mm-hmm. yeah, watching <laughs> like, Harley walk like around this fucking over studio. there, and he's his back would be to us, but it's like a <laughs> wall. So like he's like right around the wall, like right around the corner, like kind of like in a video game when you go up to the wall like this. But he's sitting in a chair there, and he's just like sitting not moving he was so still That's i was staring so in the weird. mirror and i thought it was like a mannequin or something for a second oh my god it moved a little bit maybe it I was walked. maybe you saw something from a prop from one of his movies oh and there's the there's the figure from yeah, there's, there's my brother over there he doesn't move much <laughs> anymore no that's really um, cool. but i left and i said to my brother i was like yo did you and he's like did i think that johnny depp was watching us the whole time yes <laughs> I was like, okay i was like did you see the guy at the end he's like no what guy and i was like when we left there was a guy sitting there he never came and introduced himself and it was the only other person in the building anyway <laughs> you know and i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with this epic mealtime brand i'm like oh maybe i'll make a team of people that you know have channels that are up and coming and we'll pair up together and figure something out and so i saw shoe nice early I was watching like his first videos i'm like this guy's insane you know i was sending it to people when he had like ten thousand views and uh and i ended up getting his phone number <clears throat> And if you think that guy's crazy in his videos, <laughs> let me just say he's well behaved there. We've corresponded on Twitter quite a bit, he and I. What, what, what he, did he do? At or least that's some type. I called him and I was like, uh, hey, Shoe Nice, my name's Harley. I have uh, uh, this show, Epic Meal Time. And like, it's really loud where he is. And he was just like, what? He's like, what do you, who is it? And I'm like, it's uh, Harley from Epic Meal Time. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk, and he was like, listen to me. And then he hung up. And I was like, okay. And I chilled. And then 10 minutes later, my phone rang, and it was him. And I was like, hello? Now it's completely quiet. And uh, his <laughs> demeanor was entirely different. Where He was like, what? Who is this? Now he's like, yo, what up? And I was like, hello? He's like, shoe nice. And I'm just like, oh, okay, did he just go gangster on me? What happened? Like, where is he now? It's like quiet. It's weird. Uh, and I'm like, hey, man, I uh, was just calling because I thought, uh, you know, what you're doing and like what we're doing, maybe there's some sort of uh, bigger uh, collaborative thing we could do. Maybe we can meet up and discuss a few. Th- and he literally, this it sounded like this woman came in the room and started yelling at him. <laughs> and then he started yelling at her. And now I'm listening and like I <laughs> yell at this woman and the woman yell at him and I just literally have spoken to this guy for 45 seconds. And and now all I'm thinking is like, man, this is the show. Whatever's going on with him right now, that's the show. The eating of the tampons, that's just the icing on the cake. Whatever's going on now, like that's the real deal. And <sighs> uh, called him a couple other times and literally every time was like a, such a wild card conversation that they never lasted more than 20 seconds until he just hung up on me and his phone would be dead or he wouldn't answer after that and then he didn't talk for like two months didn't didn't i couldn't call his number it was a different number he didn't call me whatever and then like he just went on twitter and just started talking smack out of nowhere once i'm like what's going on here i remember that he's on just you? insulting me and yeah. like i said earlier to you guys before you, you know we started recording like i have this habit of just being like what this bitch wants to go in i'm ready right now and so like i started like going in on him and then it got like weird he was like i'm gonna fight you and then he's like started uploading videos of him training to fight. <laughs> wait and when he was, the hell like, was this push-ups and hitting the punching bag like four years was, ago like, really old and drunk and so i was looking at him I'm like oh my god i'm like tripping i'm like what if shoe nice dies training to fight me for a fight that would never happen and then I'm like, what if I killed Shoe Nice by like somehow calling him to work together and he took it as fighting words in some messed up world that he's living in and he like started insulting me 
And me insulting him back on Twitter, he started training to fight me. What if he has a heart attack? The guy's eating a thousand tampon cigarettes and drugs, like full bottles. I'm like, but I'm going to be the one that kills him. And I'm, I'm like tripping out. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, now when people talk smack to me on the internet. Did everyone else lose him? Did he get, yeah. You got, yeah. You went, oh, lost oh we audio. lost your audio. Like, you went quiet. Harley, did you know what happened? He did that intentionally, so, I think. He looks like he's trying it. to figure it out. The last thing we heard was now when people talk smack to me on the internet and then it just... Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now when people talk smack to me on the internet, I'm not like, oh, F your mom or anything like that. Now I'm like, I guess because I'm 30, I'm like, hey, hey, buddy, what's this really about? <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? Like, is there something going on? Do you need do you need the sauce bosses? You're help? trying to be Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. Yeah, not I don't, fault. I'm not like I'm not you know I'm not gonna go in and like uh, insult you. I don't think I've ever gone in in an insult match with a random on the internet and lost. But I always lose a piece of myself because I say really mean shit to them. I'm like uh, you know I'll like I'll go deep. I'll like pull up a picture of their girlfriend. I'll be like, oh what? I'll be like, that's your girl. I'm gonna cuck you, you beta. <laughs> <laughs> And then after, I'm just like, I shouldn't have said that. The guy, he's not, he's insulting me because he's not doing anything with his life. Why would I go and insult that? Instead, I'm just like, hey, man, what's going on? You want a job? Is that what this is? You want me to give you a job? And that's all. I was trying to, like, take that higher road, but I still end up coming off condescending yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, but... yeah, the high road of mm. condescendingly offering them a job. Yeah. <laughs> the, the whole, like, I'm better than you. I yeah. have this to offer, but I in know. my... In my power, I will withhold. Like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, exactly. I'm like, hey, let's let's go let's go look look at ourselves in the mirror and figure out who we are, yeah. right? Should Got we a do couple that? of links on Monster for you. Hope this helps. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh. senior dishwasher. Yeah. Okay. Go to his LinkedIn profile and rewrite some of his stuff. Here, it looks better this way. Here, you, yeah, <laughs> just, you give him like a helpful resume. Yeah. Yeah, I condensed it for you, and I took that old stuff out of there. They don't, they're not looking for that anymore. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a topic. Harley, you want to go first? Yeah. All right. It is you against an entire Roman, uh, an entire Roman horde or phalanx or whatever. You against 500 Romans. What two things do you bring from the future to defend them off? Helicopter. Okay, um... You have to hold them in your hands. Let's make a new rule. Uh -oh. You have to. They have to be. Okay. Oh, I, I can't say a bulletproof Escalade. Yeah. See, that's <laughs> like, you know, you could go like. Tank. I just imagine. I imagine they're like in the phalanx, and they're like, hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, blasting like, yeah, exactly. Blasting Trinidad chains. I'm like, go hold all of my watch. <laughs> If you went too extreme, you could bring a tank, and it wouldn't even be fun, right? So they all have to be handheld things you bring with you. What do you got? Well, one, can I bring Kyle? Uh, I suppose <laughs> if he, if he's one of your things, if yeah. You're holding him. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if I'm holding Kyle like this, and he's like out flat with like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just pointing him, like I aim him at people. And he is like a Kimbo Deagles, just sh shooting away. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like pointing him at, at the enemy. All right, this is going to go around to everyone. So get your get your thinking caps on. Tyler, what are you bringing with you from the future to hold off 500 Romans? A single rose. A single rose. God, I had no idea you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, on that note, I'm bringing an electric guitar. And as they approach, I'm just going to be like, <laughs> and they're just going to be like, He's godly. You can't can, play guitar. Can no, you play? I can, but I'm also bringing back skills to play guitar from the future. <laughs> um, Lefty, what are you bringing from the future? Your two th two handheld things to hold off a uh, Roman horde. Um, the other day, uh, I was I just Googled for some reason. I Googled um, uh, two two five caliber pistol, and it came up with an awesome awesome handheld submachine gun thing. So I'm bringing two of those badasses. All right, Kyle. I th all right. Well, first of all, like if you had a minigun, it's done, right? Like a minigun mounted to the ground, you just you could literally mow down five hundred. So wait, you're gonna bring a minigun? 
and then a cigar to smoke out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So so it's it's one of the two. It's uh, but I feel like the minigun is almost too easy. I think you want to bring the flamethrower. I think you want to break out the Vietnam era flamethrower, mm -hmm. and you want to maybe at first you give them a demonstration of power. Right? You just kind of shoot a big ball of flame up in the air, and you're like, really? You want to do this? Or can we all agree that I am now general? Well, they can throw spears. I think you've got a, a, a distance error, a distance problem if you have a flamethrower. I don't think you know how far a flamethrower shoots. Not as far as a bow, right? No, they don't have bows. Can I change my answer? They don't have bows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can change it. I, uh, I bring a 70-inch a, a TV in porno. <laughs> I'm like, behold! <laughs> Wait, if they're, if they're Roman, it's got to be gay porn. Yeah, it's oh. got to be pedo gay porn. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I oh, thought he was going to come right back with his porn collection. Like, pedo <laughs> gay porn? I'll be right back. <laughs> I'd bring, like, a nice fat sack of Justin Bieber's favorite chronic and be like, yo, guys, just, just try this, and everyone's going to chill out. Oh, God. <laughs> I have a question for everyone. Yeah. Um, how many seven-year-olds can you beat up? I can um, do. All right, now, fits. here's 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 my question to you. Do I have a th maybe three to three to six months to get into shape, or are we talking like right now? Right now, they're at your door. All right, I can definitely take five, like no issue. What? I was gonna, oh. I was gonna go no, 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 just stick with me here. Stick with me here. Five is like nothing. The question is, can I take ten? I think I can take ten. I really do. And and and, and we're, we're keeping in mind we're, we've bumped it up to seven. Usually the question is five year old. A seven year old is a big kid. All right, and these are seven year old American kids, so some of them are fat. Let's just say the average seven year old weighs what? 50, 60 pounds, that's five or 600 pounds of people coming at you. You know, here, here's what I'm thinking, because that's good. I open the door, there's 37-year-olds there. The first one, I grab him by his wrists, and I start spinning as fast as I can. <laughs> and I keep spinning, and I keep spinning, and I keep spinning, and I'm, they're all flying. They're all flying everywhere. Whoever's like the left standing after that, I'm going to grab his jaw, and I'm going to I'm going to yank out his bottom jaw here and match his <laughs> knuckles now with teeth. Seven-year-olds with that, all right? You know Seven-year-olds most... seven are scared of blood. You make one of them bleed, you know, and you're just like, who? To me, who the fuck is next? Seven-year-olds are weak sauce, man. I think I can take – I'm thinking numbers like around 30. That's sure. You know, That's my sure. son That's is nine. Sure. If I pop him in the face one time, he's gone, yeah. right? And he's nine. Yeah, a you know seven-year-old – they're seven years old. They're coming to bite your balls, though. That's what they're going to do. That's their I think strategy. even my left jab downs a seven-year-old. I, I think You're getting, they're biting, though. That's for sure. What they're, <laughs> they're biting. One they're all biting. Five of them. We all have to keep in mind Harley's a big guy. How tall are you, Harley? He's I'm big. six foot six, two hundred sixty yeah. pounds. I could beat the fuck out of a seven-year-old. Yeah, Har <laughs> Harley. Ta <laughs> Harley fucking towers over me. I'm like six one, one hundred eighty. Harley's huge. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could, I could beat a seven-year-old with one kick. Oh, definitely. Oh, you know oh, definitely. I think I could. I'm, I know if I punched a seven-year-old, he's out for. He's he's not completely unconscious. I honestly think with seven-year-olds, I'm good for two or three dozen seven-year-olds. I just I just you don't. Know? I see them as being, you know, easy to stop. One punch. Uh, man, That's I don't know. Right, but, but if they all come at you at once, though, that could change the equation. I think if they start grabbing your clothing and dragging you down, like imagine three seven-year-olds quickly grab your left arm. Yeah. I, pa, pa, pa. Yeah. <laughs> if three seven year old, I think I can shake it out and drop some elbows. And then three more, and then three more, and then three more, and then all of a sudden you're on the bottom of a dog pile of seven year olds, it's like, like that's, trying to butt fuck you. I wish it's I like could that's do, like, Jurassic do this. Park. Like, I would like to do this like horde mode styles, where they keep coming in waves. It's like ten <laughs> yeah, next ten, next ten, and then you get like a, like then you get like a boss ten year old. Yeah, I would do this. I would do this move, and then you just down smash all of them. <laughs> All on top of their heads. Yeah. We really need to try to set this up somehow. Like, there's like put no, the kids. There's no way this yeah, will no, ever happen. Just no, there is, is dude. You if you're put watching them in like those right peewee football uniforms. If you're seven years old and you're watching the show, fight me at PAX. I'll see you in Joe Lozon's <laughs> octagon. <laughs> fight me. I'll take you. I all just down. imagine like Woody like like loosening up like a pro athlete, like shaking it out. <laughs> the the seven-year-olds are kind of like 
they're, they're like, you think we get an autograph after this? You think maybe 